these are who they should draft first. <laughs> who I think. If there is the draft, this is who I think the United States should draft first. I have a list. Bro, right, let me know. Let me know the list. Bro, I, I got a list, bro. Who we th- who should be drafted <laughs> first? One. People who used to be in the military. Right, right. Or people right. that want to go in the military. They yeah. should be the first to go. Like Jason, Bash. <laughs> 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 let them go first. Next. Any convicts in prison. <laughs> <laughs> if you are in prison from 18 to 26 for, I don't care, murder, s- murder, robbery, freaking Grand Theft Auto. Yo. For selling drugs. Selling send, drugs? <laughs> send, <laughs> you are in drugs. I feel like me, if it's some hard ass <laughs> drug, bro, then you might need to go to prison. I don't, no, no, no. I but want if it's all, like weed, no, I just everybody. Send them out, bro. <laughs> send them out. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 145. I'm your host, DWAK Darius, and I'm here with one of my co-hosts. Y'all see him every day, or almost every week. Yo, what's good? If y'all don't know about the voice. It's your boy. F to the R to the I to the T to the Z. <laughs> you, almost <laughs> you, almost mess- <laughs> you almost didn't spell your name right. I was letting you rock. I was like, Frizz? F you- to the R to the I to the T to the Z. Your boy Fritz, bro. Yes, I'm sir. Back again with another, with another pod, man. Back you know, again with man. another pod, like we never left. You know, we finally back. We, I'm back from vacation, but you know, we got our little floor, floor stuff on because you know, yep. almost the first day. Technically, it, summer starts in two days. Technically, I don't know when it start. I, I think, know it's been hot as motherfucker. Yeah, I know. It's so been hot it's been as summer. Balls. It's been summer for for a while for me, bro. It's it's been it's been crazy. Yeah, like, Fritz is I'm, ordering an AC as he speaks ordered, right bro, now. I'm I'm ordering AC, bro, because the way the way this heat kicking, boy. Fritz, I don't know. I felt like I never felt no heat like this. This is a different type of heat, bro. It's hot, bro. I feel like I never like. I felt like I, I was able to like manage with the other types of heats. This heat is different, bro. It's a I, different type. I told of heat. you, I can't. Yo, I came back from DR Monday. I I touched down. It felt the same thing, bro. Nothing changed. It was still Are the same. Serious? Yes, bro. It was just as hot, bro. Oh, I, was I, love, mean, bro. I was meaning to ask you, though. I always do. Your... It was cool. I seen the uh, video of you. Um, I think it was karaoke. Nah, I was going crazy. Uh, yo. Bro. You were singing? You went up and sang? Yeah, because, yo, it was... Oh. I, I, nah, I didn't see you. Like, I don't know. Oh, just the karaoke. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, what the, yeah. So, so, what happened was, me and Jay were supposed to go up, but Jay had, like, a bunch of, like, water in her ears. So she couldn't like hear. So she didn't want to go up. So I was like, all right, whatever. I was gonna go up. Don't do that. I was gonna go up. But I told her, I was like, I was like, if there's one if this um because we was gonna do that, uh, you know the the Usher and Alicia Key songs, my boo. My boo. We was gonna do that. But then somebody else took that song. I was like, all right, if they don't go up, I'm gonna go up there and sing. And I told you I shook her, I shook her hand and everything. So then they was calling the person's name and they didn't come up. I was like, Oh shoot, it's my time to shine. Right. But Jay didn't want me to go because she thought I was gonna bring her, so she held me back. I was like, all right, but it was it was like a white it was two <laughs> it was it was a uh, two white people. It was a white couple, but they didn't know the the lyrics. It was just like uh, it gr- on the screen. Oh, but it was you, on the screen. But, but like you you have to sing it a certain. Yeah, way, they don't right? know the the melody or whatever. Right, 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 right. So then they was just like, all right, bro, I give up. They get they put this mic out. I ran up the stage and I was just like, I was like, dang, there's you, a lot. You of- sang my boo. I yeah. Mean, you, oh, it was my boo. Yeah. Okay. But it was like, there was a lot of people there. I didn't realize how many people was in there. Was <laughs> when like, you got up? Yeah, I was like, hold on. There's a lot of people <laughs> looking at me right now. I don't know if they're clapping or just staring at me. I'm like, dang. Was they clapping? Was they, was they, you you recorded it? No one recorded it? Jay recorded it. Uh, yeah, Jay recorded I don't yeah, know. Was they, were they clapping? I don't know. You don't make them feel better. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just looking at that nigga. <laughs> but, yo, but you seen the one on, I posted on my yeah, 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 yeah. Bro. Yeah. Those kids. Yeah. Bro, I, all right. Granted, like the first couple of times, there was a bunch of white people that went on, but they were like maybe probably just graduated high school, but they were mm-hmm. all drunk doing it. They look like frat boys and like sorority girls. Mm-hmm. But these kids, they look like straight out of like the Glee Club, bro. Uh-huh. Like when I, those videos I showed you, that was back to back. So they just kept going back up there. Oh, really? And that one kid, bro, like he was, though, he went up there, he was twerking, bro. Twerking is great. I was like, yeah. What is he doing? Hold on, let me see. Ah, uh, yes, sir. What's this? Thank oh, is you, that Jay. Me? Thank you. Thank I don't want to watch it. I don't, <laughs> don't want to watch it at all. Oh my god! <laughs> I have, I don't want to see it. I just see like. <laughs> I 
I'm not, I'm cutting this part out, by the way. Oh wow. Um, at least they joined in saying with you. Yeah, he joined. It wasn't just me. Still in your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the hell is this nigga doing? Did what you see this? No, I didn't. I don't know what was going on. What nah, this nigga. Nah, this nigga's tweaking. What do you do? Is this the nigga that was twerking? Yes, that was doing. Okay, I knew it. I could tell. What do you do? <laughs> yo, that nigga some. Yo, yeah, nah. He, yo, I'm he saying. He a freak out nigga, bro. I ain't gonna <laughs> oh no, he pointing at you, and you pointed back. <laughs> no oh, this nigga Darius. I don't know what he did. You pointed back at him. He yeah, pointed at you. You pointed back at him. So he did all that. Oh, right? you was getting, you was getting all the white people lit though. <laughs> I fuck with it. There's, I thought you could sing, bro. What you mean? You thought I can't sing? Nah, there's. there's you don't think so? That's bad vocals, bro. I think, I think I need a a, a right song for me to sing. My, my boo's not a right song. Nah, I feel like that's too much vocalization. I need something like a, like. I think it was only the chorus. It was like, eh, we were but you know, at the same time, I can't hear myself, so like, I don't know what I sound like. No, you sound because awful. because <laughs> his awful. his microphone was louder than mine, oh, so okay. I was just hearing his. I didn't think my mic was on, honestly. Oh, so it was like, dang, am I really singing this for real? No, but I was just like, effort, bro. I was just hoping. I was just hoping they sung along. That's why I want. That was the nah, goal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. You got you got the you got them lit. That's how so, I want. So that's good. All right, that's, that's good. That's good. That's how I want it, bro. That's why, like, with karaoke, I feel like the point. You know, you're not gonna sing that well, right. but you want everybody, everybody else to sing to, along to, join in and shit like to that. make that's it a sound to make a little sound. better. That's right. why I was. That's all I wanted. Right. Now nah, that bro. is that is that is honestly the point of karaoke. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I'm saying. But you ain't gonna see me go up. We should do that one day. I mean, I, mm. I got ideas, bro. Mm. I got ideas what we could do for the pod, and we could do some karaoke mix with it, but. Mm. We gotta we gotta get to that point first, but when that time comes, we, I mean I'm down. If everyone's doing it, obviously I'll join. I'll do it. That would be mad funny. It wouldn't be bad. That's what I'm saying. I, 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 what I song would, would you sing if it was karaoke? Damn, what song would I sing? Like what's your go to? There's song? a lot, bro. I ain't gonna lie. What are you about to say? I might fuck around and do um my nigga Bobby Valentino. What song? Slow down. <laughs> I just want to get to know you. <laughs> that's a good one. I ain't going to lie. One, yeah. That's a good one. That Bobby Valentino. That's a good one. Down, that's pretty good. That's a good one. And he not really, I mean. He, he, not, he wasn't really vocal. He had some parts where he was, you know, doing a lot. Yeah. But it wasn't too much. It mm. wasn't like, it wasn't like to the point like, uh, yeah, you know yeah, what, that's I'm what I'm saying? saying. I, I, I'm not trying to riff. I can't riff. Yeah, I can't I can't that. riff. But. <clears throat> But um, <laughs> sorry. But man. sorry, there's a dog. There's a I dog. There's a door. dog. Like a random dog. Is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jay Dog is crying and shit. Yeah, he's but, at um, the door. Yeah, Bobby Valentino on that song. Slow down. See the one I want to do, and I always want to do if I was able to sing. Shut it down. You know, you know, know me so shut well. It, shut it. You know me, <laughs> you so, know me but, so well. But that song is six minutes. It is a very long. That's song, a but long. So I feel like you should. Who was what? Who, who part? Was but like he Drake or Drake or. Lil Drake Wayne. or uh, Lil Wayne. Not Lil Wayne. Uh, Drake tweaking. or Dream's part. I think Drake's part. Because Drake is not really like, he's just like. Yeah, he's not really vocalized. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why it like seems so easy. Easy, right. But it's right. just so long of a song. It I is, can't do it. I don't think you would do, I don't think you should do the whole song. No, nah, no. Nah, I feel like. I think you probably do that. You could probably do. His last verse. His last verse goes stupid. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was like, oh, damn. What'd he say? Damn, I forgot, bro. Wait, I gotta hear it. Hold on, I gotta hear it, bro. It's in my head, but I can't freaking. Right, think I can't it, really it put out the melody, hold on, bro. Hold on, the last verse nah, that nah, nah, is nah. tweaked, bro. You should shut it down, down, down. Mm-hmm. You should shut it down, down. Hold on, that is girl around, round, round. They notice, they notice. You should shut it. He said. Not this one. My nigga, my nigga dream one crazy. Now. That's my way up. What <laughs> I do to make it stay. Damn. What y'all know about this? They don't know that. They want you to leave. You tell me you're just not the type. You want to do this right. I'm just trying to say I don't believe you. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, my God. Hold on. Where is it? Like, look how easy that is. Yeah, that's easy. That's light. He's just talking. Down, down, 
down, I'm trying to lay you down, down. You still the fattest girl around. Oh, my God. <laughs> bro, when I tell you when I first heard that shit, bro, I'm like, I almost cried, bro. <laughs> Yo, that album, I didn't realize how good that album is until now, bro. Bro, every day, I be thinking about it. Bro, I'm like. That's very slept on. That no, album, that album is very slept very on. And slept it had on. so many good hits. Mm-hmm. Like, it had hits. Like, you know, people had, like, people knew about Over. They got maybe Unforgettable Fireworks. on there. They got Unforgettable. Thank Me Now. Thank Me Now. Find Your Love was on here. I didn't even know. I forgot. Find Your Love is on there? Yeah. Niggas knew, niggas knew about that. That's but niggas didn't know about the, the album. album. It was the singles that really got the attention. That album? Mm-hmm. That's probably... I ain't gonna lie. And it's crazy because I remember listening to that album. This is a minute. Like when I was like younger, bro. I, this is like, 2010, bro. Yeah. You know, I had, a, I had an Android. I had to <laughs> download it off the internet. Yeah. Get that zip. Extract it <laughs> and shit like that. That's and how I, I had to do it, though. And I would, and it's crazy. I had the album, mm-hmm. but I never listened to like all the songs. I only listened to "Find Your Find Your Love." I feel like that's over. how it was when we was kids. That's though. how it was. Yeah. Like we used to just download the album. Oh, I used to just download the album because like everybody had the album, right? And I never got to listen to right, the whole right. Album. I didn't listen to the whole album. I just like, downloaded. I listened to the songs that I knew. That's what I'm saying. Like, and I just, and it's crazy right now. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, this album is fire like, like it's fire. especially when freaking chris brown was dropping them albums that had like 30 songs in oh it. Yeah, yeah yeah i was bugging because i used to download that whole album i didn't listen to all uh, the songs i listened to maybe five yeah i i, five max, I, I had I, I, of course i downloaded it on on apple music yeah i didn't listen to that shit that's what i'm saying i didn't listen to everything <laughs> i didn't listen to everything <laughs> i just 30 is crazy i respect that Bro, I it was that. it was back to back, yeah, so that was crazy. sixty plus songs, yeah, bro. That that, that is like, some crazy. Shit. That's a lot. That's a lot. Two hours later. Now, I got a lot. We got a lot of things to talk about in this pod. We got a lot of current events that we're gonna react to. We got a lot of things that y'all might not know that's happening in the world that we're gonna react to, and we got a lot of would you rather questions like the normal scheduled program. But I gotta ask you, Fritz, which one do you want to talk about first? You want to talk about some of the current events that I've seen and we want to react to, or do you want to talk about the stuff that? People may not know about, and it's kind of like I do want to let me know about the current events because maybe I it sounds like some you know that I don't know. I I got you. I want to know. Oh no, you, you the, the current events are the ones that you know. Oh really? Yeah, it's the ones that you, so you want to go talk about that first? Yeah, let's talk about that. All right, so I want to talk about this first thing that was going around social media. It was the Chris Brown meet and greet picture with that one girl that. She broke up with her boyfriend because mm, of that. I want to react to see that. that. I did see that. Because I've been seeing a lot of people talk about it, and uh-huh. I want to get your opinion on that whole situation, bro. Uh-huh. If y'all don't know, Chris Brown had a concert. Chris Brown, he was in Newark recently. Was he? Yeah, like last week. Oh, really? And I think he was in Brooklyn yesterday. Damn, you ain't link up with me, Breezy? Come on now, man. That's what I'm saying, bro. I thought we was locked in, bro. It's crazy, bro. Nigga, nigga be holding ass niggas. It's man. crazy. You got my number, bro. It's like, nah, <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> but... So, you know, Chris Brown, they be having, like, the meet and greets with their fans and oh, stuff. I know. So, supposedly one girl shit. was getting a little too touchy. Her boyfriend seen it, and they nah. was engaged, and they was like, nah. you know, I'm done. Was it, what, was, was she getting too touchy? Because I, He picked her up. He picked her up? Like he oh, that's not the like, one that I seen. Which one did you see? Like, um, it was the one where, like, the nigga was, that Chris Brown was, like, you know, like you know them prom pictures, yeah. Where where you behind, yeah, where you yeah. behind the girl, and you know she. Oh, you, know, you hold you press, like that? Yeah, yeah, and you behind her. Yeah, and you yeah. Press her. It's not that bad comparable to like all the other shit that you see. That yeah, there's some shit. Yeah, like, there's a lot. But like he him picking her up is crazy. You didn't see that bro. one? Nah, I didn't see that one. I hold didn't on. see that one. I seen the one where it was like a prom picture, and uh, he broke up with his girl. He. Uh, she, she was just telling, oh, my boyfriend broke up with me. So. Where is it? It was literally. Supposedly. You talking about this one? Is it this one? Yeah, yeah. It was. It, I think it's that girl. Let me see. This girl right here? I think it's her, yeah. But it oh, wasn't that Facebook. picture that I seen. Hold on. Let me see. Dang, he does multiple pictures? Bro, look at this guy. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see if I can find Yo, I ain't going to lie, bro. <laughs> Alright. I'm not going to say that. Hold on. <laughs> what you, was you about to say? Nah, but Chris like, Brown... Like, y'all... Yo, Chris Brown is a genius, bro. <laughs> Why? Because isn't that shit like a thousand? Yeah, it's, just, it's bread, bro. It's like stupid bread. Like, I think, Females like... Females really 
Like, y'all really got thousands to, like, pay for a picture? Yes. For Chris Brown. It was this girl. This is how he was holding her. Oh, that's OD. This is crazy. Nah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> you're you're out of here. That's Wait, crazy. Wait, Beyonce? Yes. Oh, she tweaked. She's about to get married. Oh, she tweaked. Jay, you want to see? Did you see this? That's crazy. Oh, that's just disrespectful. Like, dang, like, first of all, how I would even... never, <laughs> I would never let, we're, bro. All right, all right, let me go back to saying <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Chris Brown is a genius because he knows he obviously he's 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 um making mad bread off the show off the show and his you know he has he has so many female 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 uh, uh fans. fans yeah yeah of he's course. making mad bread off of that mm-hmm. and that's a really good idea now mm-hmm. females you serious that's crazy a thousand for a picture i know like and i've been, I've like, been you seeing... don't think that's pretty down bad like and and I remember like females was like, yeah, but that's Chris Brown, yo putting niggas on pedestals like that is crazy. First of all, <laughs> like, and it's I just like, don't understand. It's like okay, I understand if if it's like you're sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, like that's like your idol, like you love Chris Brown. Whatever. Yeah, but taking pic- yeah, but that's yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, though. but that's like that's like like if females won't even. You spend a thousand dollars on <laughs> shit. I don't know, like they boyfriend, like on their boyfriend, like <laughs> real shit, like like real shit, like nah, nah. In all actuality, like yeah, some females won't even spend a thousand dollars on their boyfriend. Yeah, like if the nigga want like a PS Five, which is five hundred, he probably not getting that shit. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying like all females. I'm not saying all females. Some some females won't even do that shit because yeah. they have the they have the in their head they have like. The narrative? Nah, the narrative on like no, like he should be paying this, he should be doing. You that. know what's crazy? I heard the boyfriend bought the tickets and paid for the whole meeting oh, thing too. My gosh, he was like, he didn't know this was all gonna happen. Oh man, I felt so freaking bad for bro. Cause at the, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> my Haitian is coming out. <laughs> Cause at the same time, man, that's right? Crazy. You have to like in the sense. Dang, this nah, dog. He tweet co- like this dog call nah, he really, dog. he really like want to get it. It's like you have to like wait. So I'm sorry. No, go so ahead. he, so is the picture like included? Yeah, like it's it's or I think it's, it's inc- or, it, or do they pay? I think it's after. extra. So it's like you pay for your ticket to go, and then you can pay a thousand dollars to take he a picture. Pay for did both. he pay for the picture? Yeah, but he didn't know it was gonna be that. Picture. He didn't know it was gonna be like that. Okay. He didn't know because gotcha. like at the end of the day, you gotta. Ask for consent. Nobody's just gonna pick you up like right, that. Right, right, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, the nigga, the nigga, and yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, no, that's horrible. <laughs> like, come on. I son. understand you love Chris Brown. Chris Brown may be your idol, your man, or whatever. And what? he, the boyfriend, knew that, so he's like, you know, he's being nice. Just respect the brother. At least, at least. respect the nigga. Like, like, like <laughs> yeah, like, yo, that. he just paid for my, he just paid for, for my, the whole experience, for, for, for my whole experience, and I'm getting picked up by a nigga that. I'm never gonna see you again. That's all I'm saying. And he probably don't remember my name. That's what I <laughs> like. Like, come on, son. And then, and then you and and you have you, your boyfriend obviously got some bread on him. Yeah, because he paid for all that. That's a lot. That's, That's a at lot least fifteen hundred out of his pocket, bro. Yeah, that like you feel me? He obviously like, and he obviously trying to make you happy, mm-hmm. and you're not even considerate to yep. his feelings. Like, oh, this might be a little much. Like, why can't you just? Like take a normal picture, a regular picture. Like, what's up with? I I understand Chris Brown is known for when it comes to like these meet and greets. He's known for the be- taking like explicit pictures. Yeah, he tweak. He be he tweaking. tweaking. <laughs> but it's not even him though. It's the females though. Yeah. Like, like you can't even like, you can't even like blame the nigga. Like he's like he probably single. Yeah. I don't I don't know if he is or not. Like he could he could do that. He's but there's single. these females. There's these females over there. That's that got niggas at home. Yeah, that don't care. They don't care, bro. So it's like, bro, like, and I remember I was seeing people react to it. They're saying the girls are saying like, you know what? It's it's because it's Chris Brown. Yeah, I don't like that, bro. I'm like, what you mean? It's I Chris don't Brown. like that. I don't like that, bro. Like, because it, like he's still a dude. He's still a, a nigga. Random? He bleed like how I bleed. <laughs> I know, like I I know I can't sing. I know I can't dance, dance like the nigga. But goddamn, <laughs> like, <laughs> can I get something? I got you right. Like, dang, you don't got you. Like, I got you. Like, what you doing? Like, I like, got you. Like, you, you, 
You're supposed to be my girl, and you 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 talk about yeah, but it's Chris Brown. If oh yo, I ain't gonna lie. If I if my girl ever did that, and she talked about some, but it's Chris Brown, bro. What? <laughs> I I don't know, bro. That's something that I don't know, bro. Like it's just like we're adults. That's O D. We we are adults. Like we should act like adults. Like you know. Just it's just respecting, you know. Just a regular picture. Just a regular picture. Just put your arm around. You can give one regular picture. You can give him a hug. I don't care. Like what is what is? A, okay, you first of all, you should be. You, you, females are always talking about how niggas are down bad for <laughs> for doing this. You know. All right, so niggas are known for being some horny. There's some horny ass. Oh yeah. There. You know they'll they'll pay for. It. Yeah. You feel me? At least eighty percent of the population. Yeah, they'll 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 pay they'll pay for Gucci for, for Gucci, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At least a nigga gets. So. <laughs> like, <laughs> you just get a, a picture. A, and and it's less than a thousand. Uh well, I mean it might be. There's some it's less than a thousand dollars for a picture. That's a lot. Chris Brown, you're a genius, bro. I'm no. not knocking your hustle. But yo, how many pictures you think he goes through? You know, it's probably a ma- there's probably like a, a maximum. Like it's not like you can't like keep buying it. Like there's like a limited spots. Yeah, because like, that, yeah. that thing could go on forever. Low yeah, key. yeah, nah. He yeah. could take a thousand pictures yeah. in a day, but he up. Yeah, yo, that nigga up. But that's t- I'd be tired, bro. No, I'd be tired as hell. Too, like <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting there picking up, <laughs> picking up edges, and there's a, there's a little he- heavy one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a little one that little, might be little a little bit bigger. That, that's a workout. Like, like, I got to pick up. Like, oof. But well, she up, asked bro. me, like, don't you pick me up? Oh, no, yeah. Like, <laughs> hold on. My arm's a little tight. <laughs> there's one that you didn't expect me that heavy. Yeah, right. Like, there's a little one that, that like, got they, a little meat on her. You like, know why you, like, you don't look that heavy, but why you feel why heavy? Why you feel that You got you weights know? in your pocket? Yeah, like, like. Hey. But at the end of the day, bro, in my eyes, that nigga is, he's right to do that. Yeah, that's easy. Like. But then he lost his he lost his fiance, bro. That you that came sucks. in, you came in, <laughs> but I don't think you could see it like that though. What? As a... She lost you, bro. Mm. You can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it as you lost her. She lost you. <laughs> you know why? You paid for a ticket. You was considerate for for you was considerate about. Oh, she likes this nigga. Mm. I'm gonna pay for the tickets. I'm gonna pay for the pictures too. You did everything right about in that situation. All you needed to do was trust her, which you probably did, and she broke that. So that's your fault. I mean, that, well, no, that's her fault. That's her fault. That's words not, from that, Re- you. You didn't do nothing wrong, bro. Great words from you, Red Pill only, Fritz. Yeah, Red Pill Fritz. The only thing, <laughs> the only, the only thing you did right was you see my Hawaiian T-shirt, bro. You see my Hawaiian shirt. I'm saying everything right here, bro. <laughs> I've been, I, I seen some shit, bro. <laughs> you feel me? The only thing you did right or was only, leave her. Yep. Hey, man. That's it. And that, that don't got to be a fiance, bro. There's, there's so many. There, there's, there's eight so billion many, women on this eight world, billion bro. Eight women in this world, bro. You gonna there's there's going to be one, one that, that'll, that'll, that'll go to that Chris Brown picture. Uh, that'll take that Chris Brown picture. He, that nigga never going to. Yeah, <laughs> that nigga not gonna trust no people. <laughs> he probably he, he, he gonna be he gonna be like, yo, if it's a girl right now, be like, yeah, man, can we, can I take the Chris? hell no? Nah. He probably never listened to Chris Brown ever oh, nah, again. That nigga never did Chris. Nah, dang, I hate Chris Brown. Yeah, that bro. sucks. Bro, bro, like that nigga never gonna listen to Chris Brown. I'd be so mad. Like take it, taking take that shit off. Like every time I listen to Chris Brown, I just reminds me of that. Mm-hmm. Now that in that picture all over the internet. Oh yeah, that's bad. Dang, bro. That's really a girl. That sucks, bro. Yeah, it does. How would you react, bro? How would I react? Yeah. I don't know, bro. Like, I'm really, like, random. Like, it depends on the mood and how I feel in that moment. Yeah, like, I, I might either crash out or just be very, yeah, like, depressed. I'm crashing out. <laughs> I'm crashing out. But the thing is, though, like, <laughs> the thing the thing I learned, though, like, it's, like, crash crashing out, like, really don't do nothing but add stress to you, bro. That's what I'm saying. Because at the end, like, I'm saying, like. The, like the the worst, like the the bare minimum, like you you went all the way to make the dude pick you up. Word. Like if you would have just gave him like a hug or whatever, like I don't care. But you had to be like, yeah, pick me up, yeah. like this, like yeah. <laughs> your girl went like this to the dude, yeah. like like here. Yeah. That's crazy. It'd be it's uh, not even here, bro. 
Bitch probably jumped on that nigga. <laughs> mm. She mm. ran and jumped on him. She, <laughs> <laughs> she jumped on him, bro. Legs open and shit, bro. Oh my god. I'm crying. <laughs> Falling down to my knees. Like she just ran and jumped. Like she ain't never seen it. Like like she ain't never seen a nigga before, bro. <laughs> mm. Yo, like she, mm. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts, bro. That hurts, bro. Like to pick it up. All right. Like great. jumping on a nigga. <laughs> like yo. And she told, yeah, yeah, no, take take it like this. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't do me like that. He touching, yeah, yo, he touching yeah. her butt. He touching her butt. Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. There was one that I seen. Um. Like I said, it was like a prom picture. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. That one, it, did Did you see it? Yeah. Did you see uh, it? The, the one that you showed me? The one in the brown. Like, I think she this had one? brown on. This is not yeah. that bad. Is this acceptable? I wouldn't be mad at that. I don't... This... Uh, wait, hold on. This, I, let, me, like, let me dissect this a little bit more. Okay, but it wasn't that photo specifically. But it was something like this. It was something like that, but there was like... There was like... Show the people. You know, side. It was like this. It was like, yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's her, maybe. But like he was, she was side to side, right? Yeah. Side to side, you know. And the nigga, the nigga, Chris Brown had his hand wrapped around, not wrapped around her, but kind of around her. Yeah. And like that, and I don't know, the nigga looked like he had his meat on her butt. You feel <laughs> me? That's a little crazy. I don't like that, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's like there's certain things, like okay, how about this picture? That's acceptable. This is acceptable? That's pretty decent. This is not that bad. This, this yo, is a little, my girl. All right, bro. This is my, okay. Like this? See, if my girl did that, right, that's cool, I guess. That's cool. That's cool? That's acceptable. Let this is not acceptable. Nah, you got me fucked up. This is crazy. You're tweaking. This is absolutely absurd. Yo, if you're <laughs> on the nigga... Like if you're like this is not even a good flick. Like what you you're not gonna post this on Instagram. Right. If you're if you're like wrapped around like if your legs were wrapped around cuz, like you 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 just you like just he look like he a baby a, daddy. Like what are you doing? Like you don't give a fuck. I'm like, what are you gonna post these pictures at? Hmm? You can't like where was she gonna post that picture at? She's gonna post that on Instagram? Like Which one? The one the the one I, uh, that girl I showed you, the one yeah, that she'll probably post on Instagram. Oh like, no, no, nah, like her fiance. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, what, would you, what are you gonna do with that picture? I don't know. So what was the point of taking a picture? <laughs> exactly. A thousand dollars to post acceptable. it. And you know what's crazy? She probably will tell that nigga, yeah, he's insecure. Yeah, probably. Like that, like the nigga insecure because you. Mm. Was it this one? Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, it, it was, was this one. one. Yep, it was that one. Is that one acceptable? I I I, I said because. Compared, I don't to, like it. I don't like it either. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it either. Like oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it either. The nigga, the nigga too close. The nigga meet too close, bro. I don't like it. And she look like she like she, she scooted back a little bit. Like she too, like scooted nah, a bit. Like, yeah, scooted a like, little bit. Nah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Like, come on, bro. I don't like it either, bro. I don't like it either, bro. Why? Like, why are you doing this? I don't like it either. Why are you taking these pictures? Like, like com this? but compared to like a lot of them, that is. That is pretty not like that's crazy. This is crazy. This is absolutely this is absurd. Like I said, you can, you're not even spending a thousand dollars on your nigga, bro. <laughs> and you spending a thousand dollars on a nigga that doesn't know your name. He'll never not know gonna your remember name. your name. Nope. Not gonna remember your face. Nope. Not you know how many remember. girls he probably seen? You know how many girls he's seen in his lifetime, bro. This Chris Brown we talk about, like like you said, bro. He done seen maybe millions of girls. He's seen too Mil many. He's seen them all, bro. He's seen them all. He's seen every. He's seen you before, bro. Where yeah. the bro? Like he's seen he's seen you in different races before. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like he's seen you before, bro. You know what I'm thinking. So just, like it's like you paid a thousand dollars just for a couple flicks. That's what I'm saying. And and, and no, you could pay. Okay, pay a thousand dollars for a couple flicks. Cool, that's use your money how you want to use it. Yeah. But pay a thousand dollars for a couple of flicks and to lose your boyfriend. This how th this is how the picture should be. Easy. This how See, simple that, it gotta that is, be. That is that is a woman with respect. Show, show, show that show that to the people. Y'all see this? Show that this to the is people. A, this is a great flick. You women out there, bro. She did good. She did good. <laughs> if my girl, bro, where the bro, like, if my girl took a picture like that, bro, and I'm like, <laughs> and she showed me, yeah, look at my picture with Chris Brown, and she took a picture like that. This is a I'm great proud picture. Of her. Yeah, like good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of her. I'm like, yeah, I love you, bro. I'm married <laughs> on the spot because I know 
Chris Brown is the peak, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So like, so like you, Chris Brown and Drake. Chris Brown and Drake, bro. Like they just intertwine. They like, just intertwine. You feel this me? This is a so good like, picture. So like, I feel like you deserve a you deserve, you deserve a, a reward, bro. You deserve something for, for that. A self respect reward. Yes. You you, you just, respected you, you me. Know, you yeah you know what not to do. You know you know oh man, you, you feel me? Exactly. Even you gotta, if you wanted to. You didn't do you it. You didn't do it. Exactly. You feel me? You got a strong that, head in your shoulders. You, that, you, that you, you, you did you good. Keep, you're a good. You're a good girl. You're a good girlfriend, bro. That's I respect good, bro. you, bro. I'll marry, I'll marry my girl if she came in a picture like that. I'd be like, I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just tell her I'm proud of you? I'm proud of you. Like, yeah. I, I'm proud of you, man. I love you more, bro. I love yeah. her more, bro. Where the bro? How about this one? This one's not bad. Let me see. This one, how about this one? Hold on. Is this bad? Look at his hands. Yeah, he is on the waist a little yeah, look bit. At, look at his hands. But, okay, like, let me see. Let me see. You can't zoom in. You uh, can't zoom in. It's a Instagram post. Hold on. Let me see if I can right. zoom in. Because it's like, I don't even know if me and Jay got, all right. I don't even know if me and Jay got flicks like this. Like, like this. You see this? You see that, Jay? Is that crazy? <sighs> That's what I'm saying. I'm it's like, not, it's not, it's not this bad. Like, it's giving, like, boyfriend. Right. It because she got her hand on a on the on, on the, the, on the, on the, the stomach, stomach and like t- and her head tilted you, on the, the chin. T- you nah. feel me? And his hand a little lower, a little low. But the the heel poke out. You but, see the heel up? Right, right. Like, but come I, on, but but you can't do that. But listen, is that breakup worthy? Nah, I don't. Think that's so. a conversation. That's a conversation. That's a conversation. That's like that's like. <laughs> you feel me? The fingers, the fingers is coming back. <laughs> the fingers is coming back there. That's like. <laughs> I, I didn't like that too much. I didn't like that too much. Nah. Nah. Now she she doesn't she hasn't she, had a boyfriend. She, yeah. She she probably God just knows been, how long. Yeah. She probably been single for for a while. So she could do that. I That's, really hope she was single for a while. I hope so. I hope so. And you can't tell. You can't. You can't say niggas. Yo, the thing is though, like you can't say niggas is insecure. You can't. Word, word bro. Because imagine the roles reversed now. <laughs> oh, here he goes. <laughs> I gotta say this. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> imagine, yo, to the girl, to the girl with uh, that fiance, bro. Yeah. Imagine if your boyfriend did that shit to SZA, bro. <laughs> some, some. I'm sorry, SZA, SZA, SZA was the first person to come to my yeah. mind, bro, because she, she be, she look, she, she's. I feel like she the type to do that, but yeah. Imagine your boyfriend picked up SZA. As a picture in a meeting greet, would you? As like a that? picture in a meeting, would you like that? You gotta think about shit like that. Like, they like think about you it. gotta think about you got. Sometimes you gotta put yourself in somebody's shoes because I, I obviously you're the one who got caught. You're the one who did it, mm-hmm. and you're gonna be like, oh, he's insecure. You could call him all these names. You could say <laughs> you, could, you, you could say everything in the book. Yeah, but put yourself in his shoes. If the nigga, if the nigga picked scissor like that, how would you feel? She would hate it. She would probably break up with him. Exactly. And yeah. that and 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 imagine niggas paying twelve hundred. Twelve twelve hundred. Maybe twelve. It might be more that, since it it's may, a, since it's a girl. You think so? Yeah, because it might be more. Yeah. Niggas, you know, some niggas dudes, is horny. Niggas yeah. is horny. Niggas is horny. <laughs> niggas is horny. Niggas is horny. <laughs> Sizzica up it. Yeah, they Sizzica like fifteen hundred. Yeah, don't got it. Yeah, she, she don't even gotta be Chris Brown side. It's like exactly. Sizzica up it. Like, She'd been like they go be like, you gonna pay fifteen hundred for a picture? Uh huh. Yeah, like oh, you down bad. <laughs> niggas not talk about this shit. You down bad. These niggas down bad. Why these niggas not calling these females down bad for two for two a uh, 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 thousand for a picture with Chris Brown? Hey man. Oh, but it's Chris Brown. It's Chris. Brown. All right, it's Scissor, bro. All right, cool, bro. It's Ice Spice. All right, all right, then niggas. They don't want to have oof. that conversation. Ooh, but you're not even gonna spend. You're not even gonna pay for a nigga PS Five. <laughs> Ridiculous, bro. First guy's detective hat. Nah, on, bro. bro. I'm tired of this, bro. The nigga probably never seen a that. Nigga never seen a thousand dollars worth of nothing in his life from you. Yeah, Chris Brown, come around and you get you you get you Excited. taking pictures with the nigga. Ha ha he he. Let me jump on this dude and take. Oh, a let flick. me jump on the dude and take a flick. And post on dick, are you, you should be ashamed of yourself. What's the caption gonna be anyways? Right. You have a fiance at home. <laughs> you should be ashamed. <laughs> I'm tired of you, bro. I'm tired of y'all, bro. You know what I was thinking in my mind? What? When we was talking about how Chris Brown probably seen millions of girls. 
How many of those girls you think were like trannies? And he didn't know. He probably brought, brought her back to the crib and like, dang. Nah, brought her back to the crib is crazy. It probably happened for us. Nah, it probably it probably happened. Happened. You don't uh, think don't, so? Don't, don't put that on my nigga Chris Brown, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't not, think so. not Chris Brown, but somebody in the industry. Oh, it definitely, it happened, definitely to happened to somebody. Like I don't probably, think I don't think Chris Brown though. Like because yo, they be out there. I, bro. I think I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I think in disguise. I think, I think niggas is. I think Chris Brown probably too tack, bro. You think so? I think he say tack. You gotta look at the like hands. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta look at certain shit. I feel like Chris Brown would be too tack. Like it would. I don't think it would happen. Anymore. Okay, okay. I ain't gonna lie, but but certain niggas, yeah, because niggas, you got. You gotta understand, some certain niggas got no sexual discipline too. Nah, they just see it. Like, him. like you know, it don't matter like what nigga you are. Like, you could be like Chris Brown. You could be, or you could be, you know, regular nigga. Yeah. Some niggas don't got sexual discipline. Bro. No, they don't. They so just, they'll, they're just, they just go. They'll just go, bro. They just the smell. If, 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 if you show interest, bro, he's he's going. You feel me? <laughs> and even though he's seen millions of females in the world, bro. He could still go. Yeah. You feel me? So, I mean, it probably could happen to, like... Somebody. Shit, somebody. Somebody. I don't know who. Somebody definitely probably could. definitely happen to somebody. I don't know who. But that shit crazy, though. Hey, man. Bro, because they're... Nah. It's crazy. Nah. I don't know, bro. You know how you know how it is, bro. They kind of got the liquor in them. They don't even... They seen a little sideways. A little right. girl come up. Right. Probably think, like, hey, she's a little bad. Right. Go to the crib. Ah, oh, there's a meat. Right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a meat. Ah. Uh, Yo, how would you react about that, like... Yeah, that, that somebody told me a story in high school about that one time. What are you talking about? Like he high said, high school. Yeah, oh, not no, not nobody. He was older than us, but it was like a. So I remember I was I used to take uh, like um the little pre algebra like in junior year. So like I had seniors in my class. Right. And I remember it was like one of the last days of school, and you know in the last day of school you play cards and stuff. Right. So we was playing cards and we just started talking about random stuff, and he was just like, "Yeah, bro, there was a crazy time where his girlfriend was a." was a tranny bro and he didn't know for six months and i'm like um yes i'm like you should have took that to the grave like yeah you <laughs> i don't know you like yeah, that i think you should have kept that to yourself. like he said he said they he didn't was do, a senior right yeah you should have kept that he to said yourself. that he did they didn't do nothing for like six months but like he would she would give him my like head and stuff but like he would um, he didn't do nothing like other um, than that so i was just like okay and then he said there was one time like they was about to do something and he pulled the pants out he seen the meat and he ran out the crib i'm like yeah, that's sure, crazy. You should have sure kept that to yourself. You should have. You like, I feel like there's some things that need to be kept. They should have. That should go to the grave. Doors. Yeah. That and is one of them. That was one of them, gang. I ain't going to lie to you. That's bad. It's not. It's, <laughs> yeah. That, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. But, but damn. It's your fault for telling us. It's your fault us. for telling. Yeah. Now like, we are telling the world. There's niggas. There's niggas. There's n- nigga, yeah, you should have just kept that with your friends, bro. <laughs> like, niggas is random niggas. And that's you what I'm saying. You I'm just me. Like, <laughs> I do not know you, bro. I don't really know you. I don't even remember his name. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, but, and, um, and like, like, he was one of those kids in high school that went to our high school, but like, if you see him, you probably be like, dang, I didn't even know you went to high school. He's one of those guys. Oh, really? Yeah, that's how, like, that's quiet how and stuff like. yeah, okay. I'm like, dang. It's crazy because everybody who went to high, our high school, like, I feel like we know everybody. That's what I'm saying. You like, know. Even, even if you, like, didn't talk. Or some shit. You because know we, what we technically they look like. like grew up together. Like yeah. That. So like, you, you know did, some people like what yeah, they look like. And stuff. Right, right, right. Like you can just be like I see him from you familiar. Like you probably went to the high school. Exactly. Nah, right. he's someone you look at. Be like, dang, nah. I did not know you went to the oh, high school. Wow. But yeah, yeah, bro. But oh, I got another thing that I seen. So Congress passed the bill that allows them to draft people from the ages of eighteen to twenty six to war. Did you see that? So. Damn. If there was a world war and there was a draft, we yeah, are eligible. We're out of here, bro. We're almost out of the clear, though. I just need two more years. No, no, three. We just need three more years. You need two more. When we 27, we good, bro. We don't get drafted. Wait, but what if, like, you have a career? Like, does that matter? No. You got to no. go. You got to go. What do you mean no? Bro, you seen Muhammad Ali got drafted. I know. I know, but that was back in the days. That, that was that was like mad long ago. That's like what I'm where, saying. Where they needed like people type shit. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, do we really need people? But it was like it was for defense. Like just in case like something happens. Because you heard like there's like Russian ships like off the right. coast of like okay. Florida and stuff. Okay. So there's like this is like just in case like we might need to just let's pass this bill now. But so what that got to do with me? I mean, if they need, what to, am I gonna do? I don't know. Nothing. Oh, well, you're not I know going? what I'm not gonna do. You're not going? No. Because look, if you don't go, oh wow, I looked it up. If you, they said, if you refuse to go, you'll be fined up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. 
two hundred fifty thousand. Yes. Or oh, they know how to do niggas. That's what I'm saying. That was crazy. I'm like <laughs> two fi- or five years in prison. Hopefully, it's federal prison. Well, that's where like the people that they get caught for fraud and stuff go. That's right. not big boy prison like state. Right, state, right. Federal prison. All right, I'm in there. But two fifty. Yeah, I I do five years in prison. I'll be with the niggas who just evaded taxes and shit like that. Like, and, <laughs> yeah. and, like, and, like, and like, did it, did it pay the taxes or like yeah. fraud and, and exploitation, whatever, I whatever the case may something. be. Yeah, I might learn something, bro. <laughs> don't put me in no prison with no, with no, with no, with no murderers, bro. Yeah, you got I don't me want fucked that. up, bro. I don't want that, bro. But like, listen, though, that's fuck 250K? Yes. I thought it was going to be 50,000. They said, because I looked up, they said thousands, though. I'm like, okay, 10,000, five. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Like that's I might nothing. never see that. Like <laughs> what the hell? Them niggas just. <sighs> it's crazy, bro. They just put me out. Of, I don't want to do this. Nah, right. I don't like. I don't like that, bro. I don't. Like, I don't yeah, like that, bro. bro. Like why? 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 Just because of my age, like, I got to be put to war. That's what I'm saying. For something that I, like I don't want to do. Like I don't like that. This is why. I, this is why I want to go somewhere else. But bro. now, wait, hold on. You said eighteen. 18 to 26, yep. God damn, 18, so if you got, nigga just turn 18 and you going to But war. there is there is some countries that you have to serve one year in, like, the military. No, I know. But, I mean, I mean I'll mean, i be, I'll, you better not put me in the front lines. Nah, cause, like, don't put a gun in my hand. Some words, pe- yeah, don't put me in, like, don't I'll, put an AK in my I'll hand, be the dudes with, like, the, in the, calling tele, in the tele, gunships. Tele, 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 telecom, yeah, the telecoms or whatever. I'll send like. the UAVs. <laughs> I'll send them things out <laughs> in a heartbeat. I'll send the... I send the freaking Nate Palm shot, wherever the hell we do. <laughs> Yo, I send them out. Go send bombs. I send the bombs out. <laughs> Just give me the coordinates. They get they get thrown down, bro. I promise the guy. <laughs> but I ain't, don't put me in the front lines, bro. But this, this now I, I I have a solution now. These are who they should draft first. <laughs> who I think, if there is the draft, this is who I think the United States should draft first. I have a list. The first one. <laughs> <laughs> He's dying of it. The first, let me know first. <laughs> I will let you know because people like me and Fritz, we don't want to go. This is a new day and age where there's technology and people like to protest. Now, I will be in a protest now. <laughs> I'll protest this. I promise you. I will be out there with a the picket fence. I don't want to go. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't doing that, bro. You know what I mean? People got sent to Vietnam because they didn't want to do that BS, bro. Yo. Bro, right, let me know. Let me know. Bro, I, I got a list, bro. Who we th- who should be drafted <laughs> first? One. People who used to be in the military, right, right, or people right. that want to go in the military, they yeah. should be the first to go. If Wait you if you went like you know people like Jason Bash, <laughs> <laughs> let them go first. G all y'all, y'all go. This is his friends, by the way. <laughs> these these are the guys, bro. I understand. I love y'all, but y'all did y'all did all that work. Go. Just so, <laughs> hey, y'all niggas. Y'all know y'all what niggas you, stepped your foot in there, bro. Y'all met, might as well like just walk this, in the yeah, door. Yeah, you might as well just walk, bro. Just go, like, bro. You, that's fine. You, yeah, bro. <laughs> that's fine. That's y'all fine. go. I want y'all to go. Those people that want to go to, let them go, bro. I want, I want you to send everybody an email Yo. with the. With the itinerary, if they want to go to war, all those people, all those people that be at the high school that make you do push-ups for like a medal, like the little ROTC kids, Take, send the send ROTC the niggas, kids they first. They obviously want to do it. They obviously want to do it. <laughs> send them first. Those yeah. are the first we should be get drafted. Next, any convicts in prison. <laughs> <laughs> if you are in prison from eighteen to twenty-six, for I don't care, murder, <laughs> s- murder, robbery. Freaking Grand Theft Auto. Yo. For selling drugs. Send, selling drugs? <laughs> send, <laughs> you are in drugs. I feel like me. What I you get, mean? If, if it's some hard ass <laughs> drug, bro, then you might need to go to prison. I, no, no, no. I but want if it's all, like weed. No. Nah, just everybody. Send them out, bro. <laughs> send them out immediately. I want them out, bro. Look. Yo. Make them pay for their dues. All right. You, go to, you don't want to be in prison no more? Go fight. You already killed all these people. Go kill the enemy Yo, now. This nigga there is trying to like clear the <laughs> fucking. <laughs> it's, it's only right, though. I understand. I check- but but it says. All right, so, but the only, okay, so, but you got to understand, the only people that could go is from 18 to 26. I already looked it right? up. That's almost over 20,000 people. Yo, this <laughs> thing is a demon. 20,000, go. Y'all did, y'all, t- y'all, y'all in there for a reason. Nigga, try y'all to want to stay 20, in there? 20,000 people, bro. Y'all want to stay in there for life? No, go fight. 
Like, go ahead. Some of y'all might be on death row. We got all these serial killers and mass shooting people. Go let them shoot. Go do whatever over think, there. You don't think they're going to they gonna cause some problems over there? I don't know. At least keep them over there where they might, like, shoot the other enemies. Yo, that is hilarious. I got another group of people. People who owe fines over $25,000. What? <laughs> yes. Wait, what? Wait, what is what? Yes. <laughs> yes, why? Those people, if you owe the if you if you are in debt over twenty five thousand dollars, pay your debt. Go to the army. Go ahead. Go to the army for one year. You're good to go. Maybe I'm just saying this because I'm biased and I don't have any debt. Right. But hey. Twenty five thousand. What if it's student loan debt? That's tough. Oh <laughs> my them, god. Send them <laughs> over. <laughs> You you got a pick up you got the pick of the litter, bro. You can pick all you, they smart, they durable, like they they know what to do. They know they they bro. Think about it. When you go when you serve a year or two and you come back, you got no more debt. You know how many people would want that? Yeah, I understand that, but um, it's uh yeah, they might <laughs> like, not come back. <laughs> they might not come back. <laughs> you gotta understand that debt won't mean nothing. They might not come back. Hey, I'm just saying, bro. Yo, twenty five thousand is crazy. 20? I feel like if it was a little higher. 50? 50K? 50K in debt, you gotta, you gotta understand. Like, there's some people who just made bad decisions. Ah, right, you made bad... De- that's what I'm saying. You gotta learn from your mistakes. That's crazy. This might be beneficial for you. Now you know how to, like, you know, you get to work out. Some of y'all, some of y'all might Look be a little at big. him. This is from the nigga that don't want to go. I'm, I'm wondering, right? Like, let me, let me ask this question. Were there any obese people in the military? Like, when they got drafted? Because I don't remember, like, in the movies when you get drafted, do they draft the fat people? Because I don't remember seeing no, like, because, you know, you have to get through training. So what if I'm too big and I can't, like, I'm not doing well in training? Like, would they kick me out? <laughs> like Nah, nah, nah. But I think about like, it. Nah, that's a little crazy. Because I, I never see no big people in the military. They all I mean, they probably, no, I'm sorry. they probably are big, but they probably, like, lost the weight while they were. But, like, what if they're, like, nah, like. You have to make a certain time. What if I don't make it? Like, I just can't do it. Oh, I guess they probably done. I could put me in the field. As long as I'm in, I, I ain't in the field. I don't want to be in the field. I'm cool. I'll be in the, the I'll be in the kitchen. I can't I'll, be in the field. I'll serve them our MRE foods. I promise you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to like help y'all with nothing. I ain't going to lie. Another, another one I also want to send out there. Any of those Elon Musk robots that he's been talking about. I know Elon Musk talking about something. He may be making robots. He change the future. All right, send them out there. Send the drone. Send whatever you got out there. Bro. Maybe send them out. I'll, I'll do it. That's cool. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. And the last group of people. I, hey, man. Equality. Women is crazy. I wasn't going to say women. This nigga I didn't was say about women. to say women. I didn't say women. <laughs> okay, what? The people that identify as a male. If you identify as a male, you are getting sent out of there. You are getting sent out Wait, of there. Wait, so you talk about... He... He that you talk about you yes. talk about like like if you change. identify as a male, if you want to be called him and he, all right, bet. Like if they're pronouns, if your he, pronouns he, him, him, they, them, you can go too, bro. They, them is no, it don't even count. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what are you talking about? So are there females that identify that have pronouns like that? I mean, if they want to be like you know like, I'm talking know. about. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's okay. A, yeah, like that. Okay. That that I, shit. That's I, I, fair. I, I think that's cool. <laughs> that's fair. Am I wrong? <laughs> Am I wrong? That's fair, bro. No, nah, I think that's fair. That's fair. Like, yo, all right, bro. You want to know how it feels? Like, want to know how it feels is crazy. Just good. Hey, bro. It's, you only gonna serve two years. You're good to go. That's all. The 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 furries send them animals over there. <laughs> Wait, the furries? What the fuck? They- <laughs> nah, this nigga just got, try to clear the fucking. He just tried to clear <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie. If they're starting like a revolution, be like, nah, we don't want to go. I am with them. Right. Like all of that. I am in New York City with the with the parade. You're pro, you protesting? Yes, I am protesting with them. I'm not going to war. I'm not going to Russia. You got me messed up. Nah, I ain't, I ain't going to Russia. Yeah, we're cold. So cold as hell. You know what them Russians do? They fight bears. You seen Khabib and all of them hey, in the US? Even, are they Russian? Yeah, that's Dagestan. That, that's Russia. That's, Dagestan? That's, that's, that's Russia, right? Bro, yeah. them guys is crazy. Yeah. Nah, I'm Bob cool. Bears at, 
They fought like bears. Eight, eight years old. Type. Eight years old, bro. Like, they, they ain't afraid of us. Yeah, they don't care. You know what we was doing at eight years old? We was playing with toys. They ain't playing no, no toys, nah, bro. They, nah, they I don't know. bears. Nah, bro. Nah, we lost. Yeah, no. I'm cool off that. But, but um, I'm saying those are the people you, I need. You really trying to clear the fuck. I feel like what's not if good. Th- once those people go, then, I, okay. If y'all need more people, I right, bet I'll go. <laughs> as long as you do that first. That's I, feel like, I, mean. I feel like the drug dealers... They got to go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they got to go. You're not, you're not doing the right thing. I don't think right niggas thing. should be doing, like, life and drugs for drugs. No, Unless you're, like, not. a fucking kingpin. Yeah. If you sold, like, a dime bag, you should probably get, like, two years max. A year. One year. One year. A dime is crazy. I know. That sucks. And you can get two years That's for petty. a dime is crazy. That's crazy. I feel like if, I feel like if you get caught, like, with drugs on like, a dime bag on, you get sent to jail for, like, five years, that judge, that judge may be racist. Yeah, you don't give up. Yeah, that's, <laughs> like, that's OD. Low-key. That's OD. That's why. You get a black judge, you, you don't care. Did, yeah, or you probably, like, did some shit, because ain't no way. You There's no way. Unless you're on probation, bag. then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, yeah, fucked up your probation. Yeah. yeah. But that's, but the, like, that's, that's what I'm saying. I feel like. Drug dealers gotta go. I don't go. know, bro. I got you. Gotta be even, bro. You gotta you gotta be stern. Okay, <laughs> I understand you only you from th- drugs to murder is I, like different. Bro. I understand it might have been your first week selling drugs and you just got caught. Now you gotta go to where that sucks. But you should never sold the drugs, bro. You're like that's crazy. <laughs> I feel like that's crazy. This nigga, you're not even a good drug dealer. Imagine getting caught your first this week. Nigga, worse than a police officer, bro. <laughs> this nigga just tried to send niggas to war. Oh, they should send the cops too. Some of the cops. Send some of the cops. What the heck? Send them. They they, yeah, they y'all, train. Y'all, y'all niggas trained already, right? Come on, bro. Go Do over there. In the war, bro. Yeah, we'll we'll police ourselves. Y'all niggas bro. Got aim like they aim like they got they they train with with guns like that. Type yeah, shit. that's what I'm saying. They used to all that. Need to go to war. And go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Need to send some of the cops. But I got another question yeah, that, that we have. Is, hold on, bro. What? What you doing? Nah, keep going. Oh man, look at his phone and smiling. I don't know what the heck <laughs> Yo, doing. Bro. But all right, so Mr. So now I got a question. So imagine if Mr. Beast is giving you ten thousand dollars a day for or he's giving you ten dollars for every day you spend in the front lines of World War Three, how long are we staying? So he's giving me and you, say it's like a Mr. Beast challenge. Ten thousand dollars every single day we are in the front lines of World War Three. And granted, we don't know how World War Three is gonna be. It might be fought like in the air, whatever. But say if, say it's like World War Two style, but it's World War Three. Did they say there was gonna be a World War Three possibility? Uh, you never know. It's right. always in the air because of Russia and stuff. Right. Like, but it might be a Cold War. But how long are we staying? If it's me and you, front lines in war, we get drafted every and day. We many? get t- how much? Ten thousand dollars a day. That's not enough. That's not enough. Nah, that's not enough. You For stay World War Three. World War Three. That's 3. not enough. You stay a month, you get three hundred k. That's not enough. And I we need to at least make a mill in a in the month. I think we could do. I can't do it. Think what, about if you if you if you're up at a mill, I yeah. can't do it. Think about it though. Bro. We have to go through training first. So training is usually maybe two yeah, three months. You better two that better three be months. True. I think it yeah, depends so how much make, we throwing throwing people out there. We losing make, bodies. You just make you just making shit up. Hold bro. on, I, but like when. Great basic, basic training. Tra- yeah, basic training be like two, three months. Okay. So two, three months, that's like about say nine hundred thousand. That's almost a million dollars. But we got but we split it though. So four hundred fifty K already. Right? Okay. I think we could do six months. <sighs> I think we could stretch. do I think we could do six months. I feel months. like I could do Six months? I that might a lot of them basic trainers, bro. I'm, 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 I'm doing basic training. I'm out of there. <laughs> oh, you do basic training? You Where's done? Yeah, I don't think I could do. I don't think you said you said two, three months. Maybe like k. Yeah, it's about we'll get four fifty because it'll be nine hundred k, but we'll split it. Oh, so four four hundred fifty thousand dollars. But that's yeah. Light, I think though. I'm gonna take it. You gonna take it for three months? But would they would they let you leave though? That's not fair. That's a Mr. Beast challenge. It's not. That's not fair. But at the end of the day, you're still in the military. Yo, then I might well just stay. I know, but like you can leave after like one battle. But like I got, I got uh, PTSD. You think you could do six months? A battle? So that means you got to be in a battle. Yeah, you are in the front lines, Fritz. Oh, we in the front lines. <laughs> yeah, so we in the front. Oh, I got first. A, I got a. I got an AK in my hand. Yeah, or an M4, whatever they got. Where we got in the yeah, army? The now? The I don't even know the I basic th- th- gun we have. Got the M4. That's what I'm saying. So I think six months. Six months is maybe like, 
maybe two bat two like really hard battles where it's like dang we almost died and like a random invasion where it's like like you know in like Afghanistan where like those like rate like fire on the post and stuff. Word. One of those. I think that's not that bad. I ain't gonna lie. I do. I, I might get shot twice. Then you. I'm not. Why? Getting, why you sound like you're not gonna? You, you don't have the possibility of dying. I mean, I might get shot in the leg, my right, leg, my butt, just, or something. You just, you just saying shit, bro. I might get shot in my my arm, like ah. That's still lost some blood. That is. And it's, it's, they they don't got them little little boy guns. Yeah, bro. no, they got the big. They gun. got the big guns. Bro. As long as I don't get hit with no grenade or step on a mine, I lose my legs. That sucks. I feel like that's not even worth that. I feel that like point. I could do. I could do. I could do seven months. Seven months, cause like think about it. So that's thirty. Seven eight months. Twenty 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 one hundred. So that's, that's about two point one million. If I do one one battle. So seven seven months, maybe. One or two battles. It, it depends how that first it battle goes. How the first battle goes. If I'm and like, they, and, they, and they, you know, gotta gotta throw more people in there. Yeah. Then I might as well like. I don't know. That I'm shit faking hard. an injury. You know, I could I, like I could I could say that, but niggas is really at war. Like. That's what I'm saying. Niggas is really like doing that shit. Like, and, and it's, it's probably it's definitely just harder than we just talking about it. It's probably just crazy being just there. being there. Like, where would you want to be out? Like, would you want to be in like the navy on the boats, air force with the planes, or like oh, no, on no, the ground? Not on the boats. Not on the boats. Not uh, on the boat. I feel like the boats is the safest one, low key. You think so though? Cause like what, like what more? Like the only yo, bad thing that happened was like Pearl seen, Harbor. Yo, I have seen the navy training though. I know it was bad, right? Because bro. you gotta learn how to swim. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. Bro, That's the only thing. That shit you, looks horrible. You bro. get you have the worst training. Oh my but god. But you have the safest like area where you might not even get attacked. And the Air Force, honestly, bro, I'm I ain't flying no ain't freaking flying plane. Shit, bro. You crazy. <laughs> did you hear about the nigga that um that hijacked the plane? Oh yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Was that recently? I don't know. But I seen that. He was like talking to the guy. I think it like, was 2018 he died. So it was probably 2018. He was like saying like he was depressed and stuff. Right. And he was talking to the, the nigga guy. Nigga like, did a barrel roll. <laughs> <laughs> and he talked about, yeah, I play some video games. What the fuck? I know. And he was flying that shit for real. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, dang, maybe I could maybe I could fly a plane. Right. Like if if he could do it. He was like, I could do he was like, bro, I'm trying to see the mountain top real like quick. What? I'll be right back. Like, yeah, right. He's like, I'm trying to see Mount Rainier. Does that there? But how the hell did he steal Olympics. a plane? Oh, um, I think. I don't know. I, How I, in the I, world? Seen, I seen the video, but like I don't know. He just he really just he was just flying. Open, he really just opened that shit and and got inside, bro. That's what I'm like, saying. I'm like, second. cause like think about it. <laughs> if to steal a plane, right? It's not like he was on like them little the little planes that you, you see in Jurassic Park. Nah, like, it was, a, it was, it was, a, it was a, like it was the United big, Jet yeah, Blue plane. It was, a, it was a big plane. So that means he had to go to the airport. <laughs> he had to buy no, a plane did. ticket. He did. He did. He did. He he went through TSA. He went. He did all, all that. that shit. And I think. Um, he went. I don't know, like you know how them people. What what are them people named that that be that be you know with a glow stick and shit? Oh, like, like the that. security. Is that is that them? Yeah, security. But like yeah, so so I think he he went out and he really just had like a split second to open the open the door and shit like that. Yeah. And he just went inside. But I'm like, you have to like you have to like cause because the plane was moving while he was doing that shit too. Oh, so he's probably like on the like flight going up. So were there people nah. in that plane? You think? That's what I'm trying to think. Like where? Like where? Okay, because when he was talking, he sounded like he was by himself. No, yeah, it sounded like he was by himself because when he was talking, because all them people and one guy. But then again, <laughs> what are you gonna do? He's flying the plane, That's what I'm so it's like if you beat the nigga up, like <laughs> oh shit, who flying the plane? <laughs> so like, I think he's the uh, when I seen the video, he was like, uh. They, um, some people's lives are in stake and shit like that. So I think those people in there. Okay, okay. But he ended up. Did he crash? crashing into some place? Oh, he like did. Like a mountain type. Yeah, yeah, he died. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but I don't know if there was people in there. Uh, like I think he. I don't fucking know. He I don't know. Landed. I got. I, I gotta look that up because I'm like, first of all, imagine you on that plane. You about to go to like uh Florida, or whatever, two hour flight. Like oh, it's light. I go to sleep. You wake up to a barrel roll. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and the barrel roll was like. Ten feet from the water. That's so crazy. like so like, he he just barely missed it. <laughs> so if the n- nigga actually almost hit the water, bro. Nah, that's od. Like imagine, bro. I didn't even think them plays could do a barrel roll. Nah, yeah, the nigga was asking, hey, yo, can I do a barrel roll? Nah, like, like, are you serious? Crazy. The fact that you could, I ain't gonna lie. The fact that you could like, 
even fly a plane. Like, I heard there's so many buttons in that shit. Yeah, bro. How can you even just, like, just do that? What, I think- what, what, what game can you play for you to fly a plane? I don't know. There's no plane simulators that's like that. Are that, there plane simulators? There might be plane simulators, simulators, but yeah, it's yeah. not like equivalent to an actual plane. Right. I I know GTA ain't, ain't nah. LB they ain't got that like because like you know they have like the little driving simulators where people wait, do. Wait, wait, wait. That's different. They don't have. They might have one like where you can like fly like this, but they don't have nothing with the buttons. Right. Like there's like mad buttons. Yeah. There's but, so many. There's buttons like. What I think it is time. though, what like flying a plane. I think it's like you. So you have to first of all, you got to get it up manually. Right. So you have to get up manually, and then you have to turn to a certain direction. But I think there's like a navigation system for you to do that. So you have to like follow a line, mm-hmm. and then once you get to a certain height, you can just press the button, and it'll be like autopilot. Oh, he probably had autopilot on, right? Yeah, until like he wanted a barrel until roll, and then he went to she. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's crazy. That's true. I don't know, man. Yeah, but that that's crazy. Um, yeah. Well, we we talk about the World War Three thing. Probably yeah. like seven months. That's what I'm saying. Six months. I think I'm cool. I think I'm cool, bro. But dang. This Celsius hit right now. That shit hit. It's not a sponsored video, bro. It's We're not back. sponsored, dang. But speaking of sponsors, we got a commercial break. We'll be right back, people. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? I just want to take a break in the podcast to mention our sponsor for today's episode, Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek for partnering with us to give you guys a special code, code no regulars at checkout. That is N O R E G U L A R S. All caps at checkout will save you $20 on your first purchase with SeatGeek of over $50. Think about it, people. That's $20. This is a day and age where there's inflation everywhere. SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app on the market. They have over 70,000 events. They got sports. They have music festivals. They got concerts and many more. They have over 28 million downloads. 28 million downloads. Come on, people. Y'all think we scamming y'all? But if y'all afraid of the scammers, they have a rating system of how safe each ticket is from a 1 to 10. Because you know we don't like them scammers. So tune in to Seat Geek. Thank you again for sponsoring our podcast. Use code NOREGULARS at checkout to save you $20 on your first order of over $50 or more. That's N-O-R-E-G-U-L-A-R-S. Thank you again, Seat Geek. Now let's get back to the podcast. I'm not saying we get, we different than regular regular. You know what I'm saying. Come on. Let's get back to the podcast. I'm sorry, people. We out. We back. Yes, sir. And now we got a lot. Of, we got some other current events that I've heard, but some that Fritz, I don't think you heard about these, though. Mm-hmm. So I got a lot of crazy things to talk about that I've seen that's been going on around the world. And I've seen this one thing on the Internet, bro. It said the FBI is hunting down over 500 Serial killer truck drivers in the USA. What'd you just say? <clears throat> the FBI is hunting down over 500 serial killer truck drivers in the USA. <clears throat> There's still people like that? Bro. Like truck driving serial killers? Yes, bro. Like, they're it's bad. Out, they're still outside like that? I think it got to a point where it's like, they killed so many people that they have to tell, like, they have to alert, like, the USA, bro. Really? Yeah. Like, they said they killed over a thousand people. Like on the like on the highways and stuff. Dang, this dog really just. Nah, that nigga. Nah, he not playing around no more. <laughs> <laughs> they can watch him hear this nigga. Like, <laughs> man, I know y'all hear me. You like, be annoying, bro. <laughs> but but um, I didn't know. Yo, the only truck driver serial killer that I re- that I like I've heard about mm-hmm. was like a nineteen. What 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 was he called? I forgot, bro. Was it a black guy? Nah. He was, he was, it was a white, white dude, dude with the with glasses. The, with glasses. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's the only one that I really know about. Mm-hmm. They said they I caught like 25 already. Are you serious? Supposed, they caught 25, but there's 500. Imagine, bro. You know how many trucks we see a day? Yeah, it could be one of it them. It could be one of them, bro. And it's like they dr- there's like a specific highway that they like to, that they found the most bodies. It's called like I-40. And it goes from like North Carolina all the way to California. Wow. So it's like, and it goes through cities like Memphis, Houston. Uh, Albuquerque and like I think Las Vegas like goes through those type of cities. And you know it's crazy. Like honestly, like it's very hard to find the niggas, bro, because they're really on the move every time. every single day. And I feel like a lot of serial killers when they don't want to get caught, they could become truck drivers because right. it's like you can you could pick up a girl, do whatever you want, yep. kill her, and yep. put her in a whole nother state. A whole another state. And now the bro. cops be like, how the heck this girl end up here? Yeah, and she's from freaking like. Alabama, we're right. in Nevada right now. Right, right, right. And the nigga, the nigga, the nigga's, uh, and he, he could either like find somewhere to like sleep or he could sleep in there. Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's, and it's like, you really know, crazy. you know, the trucks are like pretty big in the back. Like, you know, like, truck, yeah, like, I know. They, they be having beds and They shit. have beds and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I heard like with truck drivers, 
what like those serial killer truck drivers they would do, they would make those like things into like little torture chambers. So they'll oh like, my God, they'll like tie them up the whole time. They'll like do crazy things to like the girls. They it's mostly like a lot of like like you know the sex workers and right, stuff right, right, right. because they pick them up on like the truck stops and like the rest stops and stuff. Right. Because like they be driving late at night, so they will never notice. Right. You pick up somebody, especially in like North Carolina, like me and Jay and um. You know, guys, we took a lot of road trips to, like, North Carolina and down south. Mm. And, like, when you go to a stop, bro, it'd be really in the middle of nowhere. Mm. And there'd be nobody. Like, in, like with us, like, we have people pump our gas. They mm-hmm. don't got people like that. There might just be one person working inside. There's nobody outside. So, so do you think there's still people hitchhiking? Yeah, I think so. There's still people hitchhiking. A lot in the West Coast, it? though. A lot in the West Coast. Yeah, there's still people hitchhiking around mm-hmm. this time. Yeah, I think it's a lot. I feel like with us, it's not common around, like, New York because we don't trust people regardless yeah right like, but the people on the west coast they're really nice and yeah. like lax days ago so they don't really care right. they don't really think about stuff yeah like this they be like ah oh, it's whatever they and do. it's like and it's like the norm over there yeah like, people the norm, will hitchhike bro. like you know exactly I mean? and that, it's like that that's what that's what that's what a lot of you feel me that's what a lot of i remember the truck driver and shit like that i heard about nigga with the glasses like mm-hmm. He would just pick up hitchhikers. Like, mm-hmm. it was, like, you know, it was the norm back in the especially back in the day. Like, yeah. people was hitchhiking all the time. That was a normal, that was really a normal thing. It was just, really just a normal that's thing. That's crazy. Like, it ran in people's cars. Like, just go, like, that's so what it was, like, so easy for them niggas. Like, exactly. They probably looked at them, wow, this is easy. Yeah, this is so easy. Like, I heard, so. I think that one guy you're talking about, I think he got caught because he picked up this girl. So, there was, like, a girl in, like, Houston or whatever. I think mm-hmm. she, um... Ran, was running away from her parents because they was like neglecting or whatever, yeah. and they ran away with their with their boyfriend. Right, right. So yeah, yeah. He yeah, picked the one. boyfriend yep, up, yep, and the girl. And the girlfriend, yep. and he killed the boyfriend first, mm-hmm. and then he just he kept the girl. He kept the girl and was driving all over the place, torturing her for like days, bro. Yeah, yeah. And then just killed them, put her in a ditch. Yeah. And then I found another one. They called dude like interstate like killer, whatever. He was a black guy, bro. He killed over fifty people. 50 wow. girls, bro. He would do, do the same thing. He'll find them a little truck stops. He'll talk to them. He'll kidnap them and just like take their bodies. He'll kill them and then he'll wrap their bodies in like plastic and tape and just throw them off the off the side of the roads or whatever. Wow. And just keep driving, bro. Wow. I'm like, bro. Yeah, hey, yo, it's just. It's great. It's scary, y'all gotta bro. Be, y'all gotta be safe out there. And it's crazy because like 500. 500. Mi- that's a minimum. That's that's a guesstimate. Right. That that's like like there could be more. There could be way more. Way more. And there could be m- way more people that died that we don't even know about. Right. So like I don't even know. Like y'all gotta. That's why people. That's a lot of y'all people that's going like you know on ro- cross country trips and like road trips. Y'all bring y'all families and stuff. Watch your kids, bro. Because you gotta yeah, make watch sh- your kids. Yeah, yeah. Like especially like you know let your kids go to the bathroom. Right. You gotta go with them to the bathroom, bro. Because right. there's a lot of weirdos in this world, bro. Especially your know, truck drivers. They be looking weird. Oh yeah, they be. Yeah. They look a little creepy. I'm not trying to be rude to y'all no, truck, to rude, truck drivers. Yeah, yeah, but y'all some yeah. of y'all be looking. One of our friends is actually good. a truck driver. I don't know what he be doing. It's like nah. Yeah, you know, chill. Yeah, but, but like, it's just it's just crazy how like they can really get away with it. There might be somebody that's catching like a hundred hundreds of bodies, and he's just out here just you know. Uh, Got one, drop them off over here, Word. and I'm gonna drive a thousand miles this way. They'll never find me. Word, bro. It's that crazy shit, work, that shit bro. Crazy it's... out there, man. So like, how how do you think they could find them, bro? Who the truck drivers? Yeah, I feel like a lot of surveillance. Like uh, surveillance, they'll probably see yeah. them get uh kidnapped on like the surveillance cameras of like the gas stations, and they'll probably you know see the license. But plate. like, you don't think you don't think uh, like I feel like this... they, aren't they aren't they. Aren't those things? I mean, I feel like they're they're usually happening at night nighttime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, so I think some of, but like, there's if there's gonna be like five hundred, there's gonna be some that aren't that, that smart. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So like, like you know how Jeffrey Dahmer was like doing all this stuff in the nineties right, or whatever. Right. There's gonna be somebody coming out in like the two thousands, twenty tens that did this stuff, and mm-hmm. we're gonna be like, dang, that's crazy. Like this mm-hmm. guy could have caught me, whatever, mm-hmm. and I wouldn't even know about it. They're gonna catch somebody that's caught over like maybe 200 plus bodies that we don't even know about but he's just driving normally right like that's why i say i think you pass by maybe a good amount i think like a good amount of killers yeah a good amount of killers in your lifetime i think it's like eight to ten or something like that yeah so you never know people like i'd be thinking about it a lot when i see the little white vans bro yo me too bro. i think about it all the every time. time every time when i'm driving behind one or every time when i one just drives by i'm like yo this one, of could, y'all, one of y'all niggas, one of y'all, y'all niggas, y'all not slick. If I see a little, if I see something off, I'm calling the cops. I'm taking Word. a picture of your license plate, especially, Word, bro. especially if it's like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Mm. That's crazy. I'm like, what, dang. They, they just driving by? They just like, um, like if I leave Jay's crib around like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. and I'm like driving home and I see like a white van and it looks a little dirty, look a little sketchy. I'm like, like, what are y'all doing? Why are you out here? Right. 
Why? Like, you're not doing no job right now. Right. Like, if, like, if there's landscapers, like, you know, that's a lot of, like, the landscapers mm-hmm. and stuff do that. Who are you, Who's grass you cutting at 3 a.m.? Mm-hmm. Where, where you going, brother? Niggas got to really be, be, be keen into that. Niggas got to be, like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Really got to be. Really mindful for, for that, like exactly. it's three a.m. Like, what are you? What are you? What are you, what really, are you really doing? doing? Bro. Like, you feel me? Traffic, unless unless that's like your your that main could be vehicle. Your main vehicle. Yeah, that's a you different thing. Me? That then but why I, is your man? Damn it! Like, you can't why have is your that vehicle <laughs> main <laughs> a white truck. God damn it! Exactly. Like, out of all out of all out of cars, every bro. Every car, bro. At least like get like something else. Get a Toyota. Yeah, like come on, come bro. On, bro. Nah, like man. why is it a white van? It's like, it's so bad. You're just I'm I'm sorry to be like stereotypical, but shit. Yes. You can't, it's hard not to be. It's so it's, hard, it's bro. Too, it's too, like, it's iconic. It's like, no, I'm not going to say iconic, but it's, like, so, like. Out there. It's out there. Yeah. Like, it's been it's been like that since the, the, start. Ni- the 90s, then since every 80s, bro, exactly. whatever, bro. So, I don't know, bro. It makes it a lot worse. So, people, like, especially the young kids that be watching this on podcast, be mindful of your surroundings. Because there's a lot. You can get picked up any moment, bro. Right. I be thinking about it a lot, bro. I be looking like at our followers. I'm like, damn, we got a lot of followers. Like, imagine, like, God forbid, one of these guys, like, maybe like something bad happened to them, and we never know. Right. Kind of sucks, man. That would suck. Dang, bro. But I, I be, yo, that's why, I, yo, I ain't gonna lie. That's why I be like so on alert all the time. You know, I watch so many like yeah, so many like true crime shit mm-hmm. or like Jay's the same way. Just yeah, I watch I watch that every time. So like, I be so on alert every single time, bro. Yeah, I can't like. I know it's not a like a good way to live, like being on so alert. But like, it's hard not to be. It's There's hard not crazy to be. fucking people out there, bro. Especially now that with and technology, pe- we can see like who's crazy. Yeah, and it's like more open now. Yeah, like Jay's the same way. Like every time me and Jay walk around, like when we was in Atlantic City, she always turns around and looks behind her every like two minutes. Yeah, like when I'm. Yeah, exactly. Like when I'm walking, like we're too. Like when I'm walking, like I'm I'm looking behind me, bro. Yeah, that's I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I'm looking behind me because it's like you never and know. I just and like every time when I'm with my girl, like she's so like carefree. Yeah. Like how do you live like that? I feel like as guys, be, we gotta. We yo, you gotta be ten toes, bro. We gotta be tech. You bro. gotta be ten toes, and she'd be like, "Yeah, nothing's gonna." You don't nah, know that. You, know, you don't know that. Nah, like, you don't know. That's why I don't do the hiking shit. Oh really? Word to bro, like my girl goes hiking, bro. I'd be like, all right. You don't go hiking with her? Fuck no. Wait, she goes hiking with like who? Her family and stuff or her friends? Like with her friend or something. Like, <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. No, yeah, you got, like you, you laughing because that shit is crazy. It's crazy, bro. That's like, where they be who, at. Like that's where they be at. That's where they be at. Yo, bro. there, there was a, there was a actually uh, where where my there was a route that my girl went to, mm-hmm. and they found out that somebody. Got killed over there. Really? Yes. Where'd she be hiking at? In New Jersey? Know. Yeah. So, as long know. as it's New Jersey. Yeah, I think so. It'd be, it'd be, it's some, if it's she'd some be dirty. like, let's go to like PA hike, don't go over there. Nah. That's where the people go missing. Like, they wrote books about how many people go missing, like in the Appalachian Mountains. Yeah. There's something. Oh, no, the Appalachian is crazy. There's something in there that's taking people. I don't know what the hell it is. It, I know what it is. It's people that be living over there. Yeah. And they, and they got houses over there. Yeah. And they be, they got, it's not even a house probably. They probably like a fucking shack or some shit. <laughs> and them niggas just, know the route more than anybody you they know, live over there yo you know what bro, i heard i know what it is bro i heard the bro it's literally that because i know i heard there was like a guy there was like a freaking serial killer or a killer that that freaking escaped like prison in florida mm-hmm. and like he made it all the way up to like like i think like pennsylvania west west virginia or whatever and he like lives in the mountains i'm telling you bro and he's like like he's like hidden in the mountains when people say like they see a shack but like he lives in that shack, and they said like he killed a couple people like I'm on the trail. I'm telling you, bro, nigga, that, that's why I don't do that hiking. You know, I'm a go, but it, I don't do that hiking. I need, shit, I need, bro. I need max. I need max like five, four, four, yeah, four, five, 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 five motherfuckers, bro, and it gotta be three niggas. <laughs> <laughs> three, yo, it gotta be. Come on, son, it gotta, it be. gotta be three niggas. Like it gotta, like I gotta have three niggas. I'm not having, I'm not being the only nigga there, bro. We done. <laughs> we done. Like, what am I going to do? That is true, though. A nigga with a weapon, I'm sorry. Like, I'm I'm sorry I ain't Superman, bro. I'm mm-hmm. going to be honest with you. Like, it got to be three niggas, bro. It yeah. got to be. It got to be. It got to be niggas that'll, that'll, you feel me, that'll protect you. Yeah. Like, you, I, I hate, 
I'm not gonna say I hate, but I don't understand how people be living so carefree. Yeah. Like, there's niggas out there, bro. Yeah, niggas is crazy. You know what's crazy? Did I ever tell you like me, and my me, and my dad, and my cousin? We got lost in like the Poconos one time. Oh, you did tell me. I that. told you about that, right? Yeah, yeah, bro. Honestly, it was our fault. But like, it wasn't really like we was walking like in the like middle of the woods. There was a trail, mm-hmm. so like it was like we was walking. So like. We went to uh, it was like a little what was that called? It was like a resort in the Poconos, like you know, you know where Camelback Beach is, Camelback Resort, and like the Poconos, where yeah, the yeah. people go, like it's like a water park. I mean, I've never been to the Poconos. Oh, you never been to the Poconos? Mm-mm. Oh, so in the Poconos, they have like a bunch of like you know, you ever heard of Great Wolf Lodge? Yeah. I agree so there's like there's like different lodges and like water parks and like indoor water parks and like a hotel. So we stayed at one. It's called um, I think it was either it was either it was either called Aqua. I think it was Kalahari. It's Kalahari. So they have a, a hiking trail where if you go. You go to, um, you'll see like the waterfalls and stuff. Mm-hmm. So we made it to the waterfall, but I didn't think I might have been like maybe a freshman in uh, college or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I didn't think that was like that was it. I was like, oh, let's go see if there's more. Me, my cousin, my dad, my art dumbasses, and there was at least like seven or eight of us. We freaking went across uh, like three streams, and we just kept following this one little. It was like a dirt road. Mm-hmm. Cause I think there was like a ranch nearby or whatever. We walked through that thing for like two, three hours, bro. Really? Until it was getting dark. And I was like, you know what? We got to walk back. And I found the way, like the trail back. Okay, so but, you found it. Yeah, but if it got dark, I don't know what was out there. It could have been bears. Right. It could have been like mountain lions or something. Right. Like we got to the point where it's like, you know where you see like the, the power lines and mm-hmm. stuff? We see we got to the power lines. And like that's not, it's not near no roads or nothing like that. Really? Yeah, it was really far. Oh, so you was, you was panicking? I wasn't panicking. My cut, my little, it was like my little cousins was with us, and they were like in like middle school, so they was oh, all scared. Yeah, they were scared. They were like we heard like a little chainsaw, but it was like somebody like lives like oh, okay. there was somebody like he was like cutting like firewood or whatever. Oh, okay, but it wasn't that bad. But it was just like dang, like I could have really got lost in that bit for real. But that's what I'm saying, people. You gotta really know your surroundings because there's any day there's you don't know how people are, bro. There's serial killers could blend in with the normalest people in the world, bro. Serial killers, crazy people. People that try to get you for whatever reason, for your money, rob you. You always got to be on a high alert, bro. Especially when you're being like, I feel like we're used to it because we're in heavily populated areas. Yeah. The people in like the <laughs> West Coast, they're like a lot spaced out. So they're not really scared of seeing right, people because right, they don't right. really see people a lot. Yeah, right. And the most of the people they see is nice. We, right. We're mean people. Yeah. So that's just how East it coast, is. East Coast. Sorry, East Coast. This is how it is, bro. But, oh, another thing I want to talk about that I've been seeing a lot is... I don't know if it's you. If I don't know if it's just me, but I've been seeing a lot of things on the news about aliens. Really, like, I haven't seen. I haven't bro, seen. I've seen on like CNN. They made they posted an article about how scientists have found like alien mega structures in the galaxy. I'm like, what the I hell? I don't is? understand what that means, bro. I don't, un- bro. Break it down for me. So, so I guess what they mean is like, you you remember in that in a in uh what's that what's the what's the Avengers movie? The Endgame movie. Endgame. Remember when Thor went to go? He went to go to that star to build his thing. Okay. So supposedly somebody made a theory. It's called like Dyson spheres or whatever, and they make like they say like aliens made like a contraption, like a little thing that goes around the star to like harness his energy. And the only way you can like know it's there is that if it's like spreads out like infrared beams like throughout the galaxy. The and I guess like on? scientists look through the telescope and they seen seven stars that look like it's like brighter than usual okay so they're like maybe he was the, the person that made up this theory was right about like these little things or whatever and they're like but like okay but what would wait, okay so what would that have to do with us though that's what i'm saying why are they putting it out on on cnn bro right why are they talking about cnn like what 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 are we what can we, <laughs> what does that have to do with, like is this a threat i don't know if it is or not they said oh, okay they said it's like they, the amount of energy that they get from the stars they could do they, there's Endless possibilities what they could do with that. Wow. If there is aliens, but it just looks, it doesn't look like the the stars don't look right. That's what they're saying. I'm just like, okay, that's kind of weird. So now, and then I looked on, there was like something on Fox. There was an article on Fox where a bunch of Harvard researchers said that they think that there's a secret alien civilization that's living amongst us right now. Either it's on the moon, either it's underground, or they're living amongst us as like human beings, which, okay. People say that all the time. All the crazy people on TikTok yeah. say that all the time. But Harvard people are saying that now? They think there's a bunch of, like, all these UFOs, like, it's not, like, they're not coming from out of space. Like, they're living amongst us. And you know what's actually crazy? 
there was a group of scientists that they were talking about an article. A group of scientists went down to like these little, you know, the indigenous tribes in the Brazil mm-hmm. that have no contact with the United, with the outside world. They don't know what anything is. They never seen a cell phone. They'll give them, they'll show them, a, they show them a picture of like an alien, like a little small gray alien. They're like, oh yeah, those are like the little ant people that live on the ground. I'm like, the way they said that that happened. They call them ant people because they live underground and they're small. So they looked at a picture of an alien. They didn't know what an alien was, but they were like, no, I see, we've seen that. They come around all the time. So I'm like, what, the fuck? what is happening? And like, in my so, mind. So you think, you think, okay, so, so. Yeah. Okay. So do you think those, you know, aliens or whatever, are are they living amongst us as in, in a heavy, heavily populated like area, maybe like, like yeah. around here, New York or this and third, or do you think they're in the indigenous tribe? Like, like, you know, over those there. people i think more i i think it's more of like they're, they're over, over there over there over but there. i think there might be some over here that could be walking amongst us because you know the possibility is endless bro yeah there's so many people in the world there could be one maybe like 10 yeah. out of the billions of people that could be like just trying to study us but their main location is like underground or in the oceans right. or like on the moon or whatever right. because I think because it, I, what it look what it seems like now it sounds like they're surrounding us, bro. Yeah, like it's they like in the air, they in the water, like, they yeah, underground. the ground. Facts. So I'm like, this kind of crazy. And what I think it is though, right? I've been saying this for a minute, bro. What is good with this dog? This dog really, <laughs> like, crying. really Sorry if you guys hear this. You want to get him, Fritz? Nah. Wait, what's his name? Juju. <laughs> Sorry, people. I had to take a break for a sec to put this dog back in the cage. But so yeah. So, I've been saying this for a minute, bro. I feel like aliens have always been around for, like, a bunch of years, forever. And, like, the government knew about it, but they're trying to, like, you know, suppress it and, like, hide it from us because we weren't ready for it. Mm. But they started implementing it with movies. Like, you know, showing us movies, like, just to see, show us what aliens look like so we can get used to it. And then I said, this is what they're going to do. They're going to show, they showed us in movies, and then they're going to start, you know, a lot of the things where people seem, like, get abducted or, like, the Roswell crash. They're going to see that and be like, oh, those were aliens. But then they're going to cover it up real quick. Like, no, nah, no, nah, it wasn't aliens. It was this, that, and third. Because we're not ready yet. Right. That's what happened in the 60s. Yeah. But now, I said they're going to start talking about it on the internet. Like, on like the big uh, social media platforms or the big media platforms. And that's what they're doing now. Yeah. Bro, back in the days, like in 2000, like 10 years ago, if somebody talked about aliens, you look at them like they're crazy. crazy. Yep. Now it's on the news, bro. Yeah, that is. So, it's, it's all going to plan. I think the next step is that we're either going to see an see alien. Shit. Yep, yep. Either gonna see an alien. So you think they think that we're ready now? I think so. I think it's because of all the technology. Because right. I feel like all the technology is like showing them a lot of things that it's like you know it's hard to hide it now. Mm. So now it's just like all right, you know whatever, we're gonna show you. Mm. We're just gonna you you guys want to see it now. This is what's been going on for like so. the last like hundreds of thousands of years. Right. And it's like it's like I feel like the next step is gonna be either think we're gonna find real proof of aliens, like somebody's gonna have a video of like a whole alien walking around, or they're gonna show it on the news like of a whole like a like a live press conference of like an alien mothership landing on like the white house or something damn i don't know i feel like that's the next step because it's really going to plan bro it's really crazy how now like if somebody came out of jail for like somebody went to jail in 2000 right he comes out now 2020 he's like aliens yeah, yeah aliens are real <laughs> the hell what is going on them niggas. he probably confused bro nah, them niggas. <laughs> He probably is confused and scared, bro. Nah, them niggas wanna go wanna go back. <laughs> he wanna go back. Like that's crazy. Like, nah, I ain't signed up for this. I didn't sign up for this, bro. <laughs> Take me back. <laughs> Take me back. He about to go rob something else, nah, bro. Facts, man. Nah, that's crazy nah, work, bro. Bro, now nah, he, he like, what's been happening this whole time? That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm what I miss? Going, like, nah, that's a. They got live streams now. You got Apple watches. Yeah. You got freaking uh VR game sets. You got aliens now, nah, bro. This is really the f- you gonna be so confused. Especially nah, imagine he did forty. He got oh, yeah. he got locked up in the eighties. He's like sixty yeah. now. Yeah, bro. Oh nah. man, that's crazy. He really time. He low key a time traveler. Low key. That, no, that's honestly that's basically time traveling because you was you were there when. Honestly, that's really the that's only. That's a time traveler. That's really time traveling because there you were there when. You feel me? There's when nothing. There was nothing. And now there was you're no here. Technology. There was no barely any TV and shit and. And there was no, yeah. And now you're now is like, from there to there is like you like flying cars, my nigga. Literally, it's bro. Literally flying cars. It's so bad, bro. I'll be so confused. Yeah. And then I got I got another question to ask, and I was thinking like, like with the movies, bro. Imagine all those alien movies like that they came that came out. Imagine like those were like 
based off of like? something. Mm. And like all the like the like the government knows like which aliens that they've encountered and they make them into movies so like yeah, we're re- prepared. Re- creation like of imagine how they look like and like so we we know like what to do if like it ever if it ever comes either attacks. I thought us or about that us. too. Like imagine the quiet place, bro. Imagine that alien oh. room. Oh Imagine like the aliens from Alien vs. Predator real. Cause that's that would be OD, but like at least we know what to do. I really uh, well, but, Quiet Place, there is no nah, knowing not, what to do. There's not knowing what to do, bro. I feel like the Quiet Place you seen the second one, right? Yeah. That was and bad. They went to that island and yes. shit like that and they had to Yeah, I, that's a that's a little much. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think we know what to do with that shit. Yeah, no. But Especially like But what? the Alien vs. Predator one, now nah, honestly, ah I'm trying to think. Cause I heard like a lot of like uh, the actors in like Hollywood, they say they see a lot of CIA agents, like the people that walk around like in the movie said they look like a CIA. Agents. Really? Okay, but I'm trying to think. You gotta think about it this way. Look, mm-hmm. if it's like the Quiet Place, mm-hmm. those guys, those those aliens have, unless there's different type of aliens. That's what I'm saying. There's probably different types of aliens. Right? Yeah, because them niggas don't got brains. Now they're they're, they're like, just they, like they, they animals. Can't build up. Yeah, they can't build nothing. Like, like they, imagine. Like, that type of alien was a thing, but they killed it. They killed the one soul one, mm. like, years ago. Or mm. they found, like, fossils of one. Mm-hmm. They're like, what is this thing? Mm. And now they're like, you know, we got to prepare the people just in case they come back. Right. Or, like, you ever watched, um, what was that movie? Uh, The freaking, um, the movie with the four dude. Or, you ever watched the movie, the X-Men movie, Dark Phoenix? When, like, the yeah, aliens came I down? Did I remember it? I don't know. Or, I'll probably watch it. I so, like, um. It, the the X Men movie with the Dark Phoenix that's when I don't think I watched it. That's when a uh, Phoenix first got her powers, like you know when she when she like absorbed like the little thing whatever and she okay. like became like the Dark Phoenix, and like aliens came down to Earth because they she stole like the thing they've been looking for the whole time to bring their plant back but they turned into humans, mm. like they look like humans but they just have superpowers, so okay. imagine those people like walking around they got a couple ones look walking around like that or like. Uh, Independence Day, where those aliens look like big as hell yeah, and like hive hell, mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. or like even aliens in the attic, them little little green <laughs> aliens, them little green, yeah, yeah. That's what no, I'm saying. I remember alien or ET? Like, imagine they got stuff like that. We never know. Damn, bro. Like they know every species, bro. I feel like there's, a, I heard there's like a lot. Supposedly, there's a lot, a of, species. lot of different species of aliens. Yeah, bro. I heard there's species of aliens that look like 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 a uh, Scandinavian people, like white people. Really? Like Thor? They look just like Thor. Thor? Yeah. Really? Like, they're white, and they have, like, long white hair. Like that. Like, they look just like humans. Like, Suppo- really? Yeah, bro. Like, and they're white? Like, they are they, white. like, are, or are they, like, like pure, like, white, like... No, no, they, they look like white people. Really? So, there's, like, dang, like, they could really, like, look, live amongst us for real. What? Yeah, there's a there's a couple that look like that. They, they even talking about... They say, like, descendants of, like, people from Africa were... Aliens or something like that. There was like Anunnaki people, but I don't, I don't know about all that. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta see this CNN shit, bro. I'm bro. Like, when Har- Harvard is talking about shit, yeah, like Harvard this. is talking. Come about on, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Harvard, they trying. We y'all supposed to be looking for cures to cancer. What the hell y'all looking at the aliens for? You know, hey, bro. I they guess, have the cures, bro. I guess they are real, bro. You no, know they have the cures, bro. Oh yeah, I, I know. I know they have the cures. They trying to keep the Those population niggas, down. You know, bro. they they trying to keep the population and they gotta make money. Mm-hmm. So. That's all it is, bro. This whole thing is a whole money scheme, bro. Yeah, it's a whole money scheme. It's a whole money it's scheme. A, it's how it is, bro. And there's one uh, there's one last story I want to talk about before we can get into some other stuff that I've seen. And it was like, have you ever heard of you know what NASA's bigger co- biggest cover up is? That the, a lot of the, people think a lot of people talk about it, but a lot of people think it's like you know like a conspiracy or a fake. That there's like an alien base on the moon. That's NASA's biggest cover-up. Really? And I think I talked about it before, but I just talked about like some stories that people say, but there was actual proof that like there was certain... Civilizations? Ap- there, not civilizations, but there was like pictures on the dark side of the moon of like like a, a base and like some of the craters. Like it looked like there was towers and stuff, but NASA like covered it up. Mm-hmm. So there was a guy, his name was um Carl Wolf, right? In the 60s. And he was like a... He was in the Air Force. And, like, after the the people went to the moon, they came back. And, you know, they took pictures and stuff already. He was invited to come work with NASA and, like, you know, be a part of, like, the program or whatever. So, he's like, I bet. I'm, I'm cool with it. He comes in. He goes into, like, one of these rooms. And, like, you know, NASA is an American-based company. 
So he goes in and there's a bunch of people from all over the world speaking many different languages. And he's like, they're all confused and like scared. He don't know what's going on, but he's just like, all right, whatever. Somebody sits him down and he gives him a pic, a bunch of pictures of like the dark side of the moon. And he sees like little like structures and stuff. And he's like, oh, dang, like we just found out there's like people living on the moon. Like, oh, like they about, this is about to be cool. They about to tell the world and whatever. And a couple days later, they didn't say nothing to nobody. So he realized, oh, they're trying to cover it up. Mm -hmm. That's why they're all nervous and like running around frantically. That's why they invited him. Yes. And he's like, he's a part of the cover up now. So they're like, so in 2001, he was like, all right, bro. I'm tired. Like he had to sign like a whole like NDA. He couldn't say nothing about it. He's like, all right, bro, whatever. I'm, I'm going to tell the world. So he starts in 2001, he starts going on interviews. He starts going, he said, he starts going on talk shows and he starts talking about how NASA is trying to cover up that there's an alien base on the moon. Like NASA is like photoshopping all their pictures from the moon landing or whatever and trying to say like, oh, this, there's nothing on the moon. Like we just seen nothing on the moon, but really there is something. And I heard somebody and like, um, so this is in 2001 and he was like, okay, I'm about to go to Congress and talk about like, uh, swear on oath or whatever. The dude died because he was riding his bike and he got hit with a, by a Mack truck. What? Yes. Yeah, he it died. Was definitely bro. set up. Bro. I, d I don't know what it is. Like he never got a ch the chance to speak to Congress. So he was going to write the book. He was, he, he was, was going write, to write him out, write him out. And what from the book like he was writing a book now he i you think say he was writing a book he wasn't writing a book but he had pictures he had like proof like okay so he was gonna write him out yeah and he was gonna write him out but before he did i think he been he was trying to get like congress to like speak to him but they always kept denying him but he died in like 2018 or 17 or whatever but like who gets hit by a freaking no nah, it, nah, it was it was it was planned <laughs> who gets a it mac was truck it was planned. so they're like all right that's kind of weird but then there was another guy his name was um there was another dude. He was like an aerospace engineer, and he was the one of the guys that worked with NASA. So when the astronauts get the pictures, they he receives the pictures. Mm -hmm. And I remember he's seen like all of the like you know bases and stuff. He said there was a lot of like mushroom shaped bases. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of towers in like the craters. And he looked at him. He's like, "Dang, what the heck is this?" And like his like authorities told him like you have to like erase these pictures. Like whatever picture you see that doesn't look like like normal to us like looks off like you see ufos whatever you gotta take that out mm. but there were certain pictures that he like kept with him and like he hid from him and then in 1995 he he spoke about it and he got fired by nasa like that same year so it's like all right if if you're saying some bs all right they're just gonna ignore you but right. if you're really saying some nonsense you're why you get that, fired yeah, they're gonna fire you they're gonna fire you and then i remember it's like so he never put the pictures out there's there's some pictures if you go into like the um like uh declassified documents that came out of NASA there are certain pictures on there that looks like there's something on like in like the craters like there's mm -hmm. little like structures and stuff mm -hmm. because you got to think about it, the moon doesn't rotate like us mm -hmm. so there's always a side that doesn't that, face that, us that dark yeah so there could be something over there that we don't know what the yeah, hell it is bro yeah, and I heard right. when like Buzz Aldrin and like Neil Armstrong landed on the moon there was like hovercrafts like watching them as they jumped on the as they stepped off mm. and like the whole time like they but they cropped it out of the pictures because like they took it all out they photoshopped everything because they don't want nobody to know and when they came back like you can see in their faces that they seen something crazy but they can't say nothing and i guess supposedly they were told like if you ever say anything your families your kids and your kids kids will just die in an accident so they never said nothing about it mm. supposedly i don't know if it's all true but hey bro if this comes from the source I don't know if you should believe it, but you should at least take it with consideration. Where you got it from the source? Well, from, 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 the people from, that work from what, NASA. Who, 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 who. Oh, the source. Oh, that makes sense. People that work from NASA. And the other dude that was talking about the Neil Armstrong, he worked with like, um, he's a dude, I forgot his name. His name's name like Green or whatever. I think he was on like the Logan Paul podcast like really? two years ago and he was talking well, I about. I, uh, I think I, wait, you said he was with Neil Armstrong? He wasn't with Neil Armstrong, but he worked with worked like with, a secret uh, program like in like area 51 or wherever okay. and he was on like logan paul's podcast and he was talking about it i was like yo that's kind of granted i don't know if so, it's true so what what did he say exactly about it he said that when neil armstrong and what's his name uh yeah, neil armstrong yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever the astronauts when they first land on the moon that it was like there was hovercrafts like above them watching them as they landed on the he moon said that. that's what he said mm -hmm. and like but they photoshopped it out so people would not, like, see them. Like, they'll just take them out. And, like, NASA has been, like, accused of photoshopping a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, especially with Mars. Like, they photoshopped, like, a lot of pictures and stuff. 
So you never know. Like, they could be really just out here photoshopping stuff, and we never know what stuff really looks like. Nah, that's a fact. So I don't know, bro. NASA's like NASA's the one company that's a little fishy that really be hiding everything. Like they just have. And they can. Like, they, they can hide the stuff, but they got all the bread to do it, bro. But that's I don't know, man. That shit crazy. But I got I got a couple more things we can talk about before the end of the podcast, and I gotta talk about this one thing because it is Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth, my brother. Oh, happy the... Juneteenth. Until I... Did my... you know it was Juneteenth? Of course. Oh really? Yes, that's yo. Just I, making sure, man. I, I ain't gonna lie. Like I, 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 I realized, I realized when uh, you had that cookout. I'm like, oh shit, it's, it's Juneteenth, bro. Yeah. Shout out from my fellow Brack people, man. Shout out to Juneteenth. We got a day, people. You just gotta, <laughs> you gotta cherish it. But we got, I got some, I got a question to ask, right? So we're being given weapons with unlimited ammo. How long would it take us to free our people back in slavery? In the 16 to 1700s. What? How long would it take us? What? Any weapon. We'll bring one weapon. Any weapon. Unlimited ammo. How long would it take us to free our people? What? Okay. Who's us? Me and you, bro. Oh, we shit. going on a secret oh, mission, yeah. bro. <laughs> secret mission to oh, save I thought it was gonna the be people. people. <laughs> nah, me and you, bro. That's it. I ain't gonna lie because they didn't have the guns that we had. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they ain't they, never they seen ain't, a grenade they launcher. Never seen, they ain't never seen what we got. Bro. They ain't never seen no RPG with a switch on it. But can we use that? <laughs> That's we, what we're going to we, do. We really have to have the knowledge to use that. RPG is crazy. Okay, I don't want an RPG. We can get a, a grenade launcher. Cool, though. Grenade launcher? This is what we're going to do. One of us is going to have the ARs, and one of us is going to have the grenade launcher. We're just going to go stupid. I ain't going to lie. We could really do it. We could do it. Because think about it, bro. The guns that they, they what they had, they had, they had they muskets, had? They had muskets, right? Yeah, well, you gotta fill it, it up, and then they had to fill it yeah, up, yeah, bro. And like that, and they gotta like wait, they like it take like ten, yeah, nah, like, it's, two it's, minutes, yeah, and yeah, each shot, yeah, nah, they dead. Exactly, we mowing them down, nah, bro. We mowing them down. I say two months. We can free your people in two months. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Two months stops. I say, I say, I say a year. Oh, a year? Yeah, because because you said freeing the slaves, right? Yeah, you gotta go all around like the. Oh yeah, we got yeah, travel. We got travel. How right. we gonna travel? If okay, dang that sucks. Yeah, exactly. We gotta go because they didn't have cars back then. We nah, got they didn't have to like we gotta steal horses. We gotta get horses. We gotta steal horses, right? Like, it'd be we like got, Django in that. Yeah, mark. we gotta get horses. But you gotta understand, bro. We're outlaws now, bro. Yeah, like everyone got one our head top. That is true. Oh, so that's gonna take a minute. How we gonna get the transportation to get from here to here to here? Yeah, like that's 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 really the 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 worst part. Oh, that's I don't know how we okay. can do that. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say two years max. Two years max. I think we could do two years. Like it, it was just like it's just the transportation that's gonna be the problem. That's what I'm saying because we gotta go we don't all got cars, over the place. We don't got cars. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, yeah. horses they're not fast enough, obviously. Yeah. Um, they're gonna get tired and like. If they Where come, in, if stay? they come with the army, yeah, like, but like, as long as we we survive that one shot and they got reload, and you said it's unlimited ammo too, yeah, like, yeah, as long as we survive that one shot, we just as long need as a, they miss, like, or shit like that. That's what I'm saying. They, because they're gonna bring an army again. Yeah, you know they're gonna bring I an know, army, bro. So it's gonna be like, and we only got two. We yeah, we have unlimited ammo, but they they also got you know there's there's power in numbers. Loki, I think we so. got killed like George Washington first. You think so? We got we got to get them out of here, bro. We got to get whoever's in power, somebody. We got to make sure we got to make sure they're discombobulated. <laughs> George Washington, yo, but don't you think like he had a lot of slaves? No, nah, you know, yeah, he yeah, had yeah, a lot of slaves. A, he had a lot of them, bro. But don't you think? And he was a dickhead, yes, Florida, bro. Uh, but don't you think like, damn, like if we, yeah, but don't you think like after we killed George Washington, right? Yeah. There's gonna be a whole rebellion. Like, there's gonna be a whole like army. Like, that's really the problem, though. Like, if we had more people, maybe. Yeah, because I think we, we do have unlimited ammo. That's like we could really just be spraying. That's what I'm saying. We could just be spraying them down and mowing them down. Just they ain't never seen no grenades like that before. Nah, they never. But like, that's also like. But the bad thing is though, since our weapons are crazy, that might force them to like start innovating really quick, and they might start creating they new guns about new shit. And like a year, they might. They might bring somebody over and be like, all right, we're going to see what they got. We're yeah. going to make the same thing. Yeah. 
I mean, it's not they 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 not gonna have the knowledge. Yeah. They, first of all, they they have to have the technology to even make, make something, that, something like even that. remotely as close close. Yeah. Because they, first of all, we have a limited ammo gang, so like it's like we can go forever, bro. We can go forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so, like how they not gonna a year? Nah. Two. It take it take them a minute, but I feel like. As long as we get the leader out, the leaders I feel out of like the way. We die at one point, guy. I know that's what I'm saying. I just, I just hope we don't get caught lacking. Like I feel like we gonna get caught lacking. <laughs> like, <laughs> like we gonna be sleeping. We gotta day. go state to state to state, bro. But think about it. At that time, I mean, it was only some, thirteen. It was only thirteen colonies. Oh, there was thirteen colonies. Oh, we so going we, from from in the beginning. Yeah, from the beginning. So oh, there wasn't like, really a oh, lot of people oh, yeah, in the you, West you yet. You did say George Washington. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm going from. So we I'm just going from Georgia to like all the mother. Yeah, like, so we can get them out of there. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's we could we could we could do the thirteen. I feel like we could do the thirteen. We can colonies. we can run the thirteen. Nah, colonies, we could bro. run through them. Uh, we can I, run I, through I them. Like, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we we could do that. That's not I, that bad. I, I'll give it. A, I'll give it a year or two. I bet. I'll give it a year, a year or two. Right. Yeah, we killed George Washington first, though. You gotta get him out of here, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Well, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Man. All right, bro. Yeah. But all right. So now I got another thing that we can do to talk about it. So I have a game we could play. It's called Keep Lower and Kill Off Black Legacies. What? So I got. I'm gonna give you three options. You either gonna keep their legacy, lower it, which means like whatever they did is not it's what they not, really yeah, did, yeah, but yeah, they're right. still alive, right. or just kill them off entirely. Right. All right. Okay. So first one, first group up, we got MLK, Rosa Parks, or Harriet Tubman. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Black legacy. Okay, you say keep lower. Keep their legacies. Lower, which they or didn't cut do, off. or cut or kill them, kill them off and completely kill them off. They they never existed. on Juneteenth. This is crazy. <laughs> they, Wait, they're trying to they're trying to get me. Canceled. I got my answer. <laughs> I I think I got. I think my answer is gonna be the same as you. I think I'm a cut off Rosa Parks. Like you, kill off. Yeah, kill off. <laughs> Are you gonna? All right, all right, all right, I'm, then, I'm gonna do mine first. Go ahead, go ahead. Yo, this is crazy. All right, <laughs> I'm a kill off Rosa Parks. Yeah. No disrespect, bro. No disrespect. I'm a... Who the fuck am I going to keep? Ooh. I think you got to keep I, MLK. I got to keep MLK and a lower... But she freed 900 slaves. I know. Was it 900? It was 900. So if you if you lower, that means she probably saved like 50. 50? Is so it's, it's something she did is not going to be memorable at all. Like, we'll never know. I mean, it's going to be memorable. She'll save one slave. Slave is crazy. One slave is crazy, bro. She got. She saved one. You slave, how done. you go from nine hundred to to one? She saved one slave, and she was like, she got scared. Nah, <laughs> you're done. tweaking. You're tweaking. Well, I you gotta like lower you it. Got, I feel like you gotta lower it to at least bro, the lower honestly, hundreds. I, nah, you gotta just nine hundred to lower hundreds is nine hundred to one, bro. <laughs> to one slave, she saved one nah, slave. You're cheating. How? <laughs> because <laughs> she not into one slave, bro. That's it. She saved. She tried. She saved one slave. She didn't like it. This nigga <laughs> said, "How?" She saved the one slave, and she realized the slave wasn't considerate. And she was like, "You know, what? I ain't gonna slave to save nah, no more." Nah, bro. I think that's a that's a good pick because Rosa Parks. She said no. Right. She went to jail. She was the first person to speak up for herself. Respect. But there could have been many more people along the way to do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. MLK is a must because he, he started he, a whole he, movement. He did. He did a lot. He has to live. He has to live. Harriet Tubman. I was either Harriet Tubman or Rosa Parks. Because with Harriet Tubman, I was like, if she didn't save the slaves, like, she only saved 900. There were still wow, millions of this slaves. This nigga's crazy. There was still millions of slaves. Oh, my gosh. Am I in this podcast? <laughs> this nigga's it was crazy. Still, it was still Yo, raining. I don't condone anything. I, I'm was just like, I'm just being this honest. This is crazy, bro. Like, at the end of the day, she did, a great, she did a great thing. She did. Oh, but, crazy. like, if it was low, like, to one, it's just like, eh. So, I, I, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a keep your list. So we're gonna we're gonna keep MLK. We're gonna lower Ro- uh, Harry Tubman, and we're gonna kill off Rosa Parks. So Rosa Parks never existed. On Juneteenth is crazy, bro. I know it's this is the wild. game that you doing, bro. It's wild. So now we got athletes. Get niggas canceled, bro. I got athletes. We got Michael Jordan, Jackie Robinson, and Usain Bolt. Oh my God! Okay. Back. Yo, Juju. The hell you escape? Relax. You know, oh, how are you escaping? He's a demon. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Juju, get back in there, man. How the hell are you escape? Juju, Juju, no. No. No, no, no. Hey. All right, there we go. Anyways. This dog done escaped. Oh, well. Um, You said 
Usain Bolt. Michael Jordan, Jackie Robinson, Usain Bolt. I'm gonna cut Usain Bolt. Oh, you gonna you gonna kill off Usain Bolt? Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot! Fastest man in the world is never never existed. Yeah, because I feel like another black person would probably be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> another black another person. Another black person would probably do it. Uh, respect to you, Zayn. That's another true. Person. Might and he might be a man. Like, I feel too. like I feel like the second black, the second fastest person was black guy. Yeah, and he would probably be the first one. Exactly, and he was an American. Guy. Yeah, and he was American. I think he was an American. Um, I'm going to. Mm, I might keep Jackie Robinson. And lower oh, Michael. keep lowering Michael Jordan. Yes. So Michael Jordan was just a role player. Yeah. Dang. And LeBron would just be the best. Okay, respect. <laughs> <laughs> because dang, that's not trying to be rude, but then uh, me, hey, me, me, Juju guys. Everybody say hi to Juju. Uh, he just say, interrupted the podcast right. after all this time. Right. Dang. Yeah, Michael Jordan would have been just a role player, and um, yeah. Ah, that's LeBron. crazy. Because, you know, Michael Jordan made the sport popular all over the world. He definitely did. But um, then AI would probably have the Ah, uh, okay, thing. okay. You know, AI, yeah. AI, I feel I heard from other people that Michael Jordan, like Michael Jordan and AI were the most influential. Were the, were the most influential motherfuckers. So AI ah. would have to, you feel me? Okay, okay. And he related, and he related more to other people and shit like that. I, I like that. I heard Michael Jordan wasn't even like he was. He, w- yeah, he was an asshole. You yeah, that's me? true. Okay, I like that list. I actually, yo, you you going I'm, crazy I'm with thinking, the list? I'm thinking. You going crazy I'm, with I'm the thinking, list, bro? I'm thinking. All right, bet. All right, bet. So now the last one, I got random black people. We got Kevin Hart, Will Smith, or Barack Obama. Oh, I'm keeping Brock. Keeping Most Brock. Definitely. So cutting. So there's no. So think about all these movies Will Smith did. I don't care. Really. Don't Those are some great movies, bro. Great movies, great movies, and Ke- I, I, oh, I'm cutting Kevin. By the way, you cutting Kevin? Yeah. I'm oh, you think it's gonna be more funnier people? Yeah, Cat Williams. Ah. Um, not saying, not saying, not saying, not saying. Um, but there's so many other funny black comedians, like yeah, that's Cat, true. Cat Williams, Bernie Mac. Um, I mean, R.I.P. But there's so many other people. Um, okay. Okay. And. Yeah, lower and Will Smith. But you have to keep Barack Obama. The first black president. Two terms. Come on, bro. Okay. You keep, have to. Keep Barack. Okay. And that's the and he's the most come on, he's a, he's the most influential out of all of them. That's true. Come on, bro. You three that's for easy. three. I'm three for three, bro. You're going crazy. Yo, you, yo, you with the I'm, black people yeah, today, nah, bro. Come on, bro. I'm, you should, you feel you me? You represent the people you feel today, me? bro. All I right, got my to, bro. fault. Niggas gotta think about these shits, bro. Real shit. Bro. Hey man, he's thinking. Mm-hmm. All right, last thing before we end the podcast, I got a, I got some would you rather's and a couple games that we could play for you, Fritz. All right, so I got one would you rather, Juju. What are you doing? That nigga standing. If on... y'all see what he's doing, he's standing. Nah. He's... he's standing on two legs. Why he's standing like a human, bro? <laughs> this man, this kid was bucky. He's looking for the food. Yeah, you got, you seen food. But all right, I got a question. So I'm paying you five hundred dollars an hour for the rest of your life. So every hour you are living, you don't got to do nothing. You get paid $500. That's $12,000 a day for the rest of your life. But every time you sneeze, your bank account goes right back down to zero. Wow. Are you doing it? You said you're getting $500,000 No, day. $500 every hour. Okay. So every day you'll make $12,000. Right. But every time you sneeze, all that money gets erased from your bank account. Be honest, bro. Yeah. Or are you doing it? You doing it? Yeah. So think <sighs> because honestly, do I sneeze that often? That's the one I'm saying. You don't. But imagine you don't sneeze for five days. You up a couple couple mil. Right. You, and sneeze, then you sneeze. It's gone. <laughs> it's mm, gone. That's then, what I'm saying. You sneeze. You. It's all gone, bro. I think I'm going to take that risk. I think I might, bro. But it's gonna suck though, bro. I think I might. I'm gonna have to invest all that bread like somewhere great. Like is there is there 
Is there is there like a procedure to where I can't sneeze? Bro? Nah, bro. You just gonna have to keep sneezing, bro. Like I, I gotta first of all, I gotta clean my room. I gotta make sure there's no dust, no nothing. I gotta right. stay away from black pepper, all that stuff. Right. And like imagine you feel the sneeze. I just gotta think of like just think of pineapple or or the color yellow. You just don't sneeze. Wait, is that a thing? I mean, that's what I'd be thinking. Like, if are you, you serious? Yeah. Have, it works for you. If I'd be like, if I'm about to sneeze, that's like, weird. but but like you always, <laughs> but like. Imagine you know that feeling when you when you want to sneeze and you don't sneeze. That sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. I hate that. That's what I'm saying. So now you gotta. But for that feel, I I, like for that money, (laughs) you got to have that. You do it for the bread. I'll be happy as fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. But that feeling is so horrible. That's what I'm saying. Like you be you're chasing for that sneeze. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I'll do it. You do it. Yeah. I think I'll do it too. That's gonna suck. That would suck. I'll do it though. Like imagine. What if you're working regularly? That yeah. that bank that sh- that shit still comes out of your bank, yeah. Like the money that you work for, everything in your bank. Damn, everything in your bank. Anything, any money you earn is is a raise. Damn. So imagine, imagine the mortgage is due, and Damn. you sneeze that, you day. Sneeze that day. Now you in debt. <laughs> that's od. Oh, that's crazy. Like you got a million dollar crib. Your mortgage is like ten k a month. You sneeze. Now you in ten k debt. <laughs> but I mean, you just gotta go a day without sneezing, whatever. But like, still, imagine you make a purchase. Like you about to buy something, your card decline. Like, dang, I just sneezed like two right, minutes ago. Yeah, bro. Now I'm embarrassed. Like that's yeah, crazy nah, that, work. That would suck. But nah, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Twelve twelve thousand day. I got. I got. I gotta take the risk. No, bro. yeah, I got. Nah, that's, I gotta take that's the hella risk. Bread. That's hella bread. It's crazy, bro. That's beautiful, bro. Mm-hmm. But you got anything else you want to talk about, Fritz? Before we end the podcast, nah, bro. I'm, I'm just glad I got to do this. Yes, sir, bro. You feel me? I feel I feel good. I like this podcast. This is a good sure. pod. I know. We so got good. we talked about a lot of stuff. But before we end the podcast, people, if y'all don't know, we are on Patreon. If you wanna if you wanna subscribe to our Patreon once a month, it's we got three dollar tiers, five dollar tiers, ten dollar tiers. If you wanna subscribe for free, you can, but you're getting less for your buck. You might as well just pay the three to five dollars. Or you might as well pay the five dollars because you get two free episodes or not two free. You get two new exclusive episodes per month. So technically we get, if, you, if you're doing it, watch us on YouTube, you get four episodes a month, you get six. And we're also going to start doing a lot of bonus content where me and Fritz, we're going to do a lot of mukbangs. We're probably going to record one before the month, uh, before the end of the month. Yeah, we're going to make a, uh, do a mukbang and shit. Yes, and, sir. Um, uh, me, UJ, and Chi Chi, if y'all remember Chi Chi, um, <laughs> is going to do a a Patreon exclusive Patreon episode. Episode in one of these weeks. So one of these keep, weeks keep, coming keep up. Keep a lookout for So it. keep a lookout. It's literally free. free. You don't know. We got a lot of behind the scenes stuff coming up for from our, uh, what's that called? From our Adventures with Idiots. We got one that's coming out soon. So tune into that. But I just want to shout out to everybody who is subscribed to our Patreon. We're going to go to the free subscribers first. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Jalen Strong, Rob Kwa. Kwa Quash, you need to change that. <laughs> Cal Ne De Shield, Isabel Graham, Leek, DJ Willis, Ramon Padilla, Alyssa Smith, Laquell Ingram. Laquell, where are you from, brother? Laquell. That is that a sound. He, he sound, down south? I don't know. Sound like it. <laughs> sound country hood, bro. He down south. He from Alabama. We got that. Tyrone and Corey on both on here. King Fry and Tamia. And then we got our Second round steals the people that's paying five dollars a month that we love dear to y'all and we enjoy that y'all are a part of the community and stuff like that. We got DJ Khalid, Lelon, Lelon Pool, and Muhammad. Shout out to y'all for subscribing Shout and more content is coming out this month. Shout out to Seat Geek for sponsoring our podcast. If you guys don't know Seat Geek, you can if y'all looking to buy some tickets for sporting events, festivals, music events, anything, go to Seat Geek. Anything over fifty dollars, use code No Regulars, all capitals N O R E G U L A R S. Get you twenty percent off your first order. I'm telling you, people, it's the summertime. Y'all want to be outside. Y'all trying to go on dates with girls? Literally, if y'all buy tickets that's fifty dollars, twenty percent off of that. That's what? I can't do math right now. Forty dollars maybe. I think it's forty. I'm th- it'll be forty dollars. I got math. I'd be doing the math in my head. But yeah, bro, tune into that. And yeah, subscribe down below, comment. Thank you all again for tuning into another episode of No Regrets Podcast. Fritz, thank you again for pulling up for another thank episode. Thank you anytime, Brody. You know what I'm saying? This summer, the summer started, people. That's why we're wearing our summer clothes. So there's a lot of th- new things coming. A lot of things. You might see us in new locations for the podcast. You never know. But we're working on it, people. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You got any last things to tell them, Fritz? Um, stay safe out here and 
Drink some water. Yes, sir. Drink water. You're getting hot, bro. Look, we different. They regular, no regular, man. Gangster. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.